Mana ada lama Tanjiro 2 minit pun tak sampai. Ai, inilah anak muda sekarang ni lah kan. Semuanya tazaba, tazaba. Inilah anak muda sekarang ni. Hai, 2 minit pun tak sampai Tanjiro. Hai, Tanjiro, Tanjiro, Tanjiro. Patutlah nama dia Tanjiro, Tanjiro sebab dia dia bagi orang panggil dia Tanjiro, 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 Tanjiro. Ah, ha, macam itulah kan. Ah. Ha. Anyway, thank you. Kita back. So, looks like macam semua okay. Uh, based on uh, semua graph-graph yang kita ada. Hmm. Uh, but, um, macam itulah. Uh, kadang-kadang kalau tiba-tiba ada benda-benda technical di sebalik mata ni yang tak, uh, apa ni, yang tak boleh di-explainkan tu, yang tu kadang-kadang susah sikit lah kan. So, yeah, what to do. But uh, kita back. So thank you for the share. Izzat, uh, Muhammad Zaim, uh, Muhammad Syaukani dan Momok pun ada. Thank you for the share. And thank you everybody. So uh, kita back. So test-test harap jangan purik lagi. Uh, Bagi kata Izzat. Dan hopefully semua okay. Papa masuk okay. Network ni memang tak nak bagi Malaysia Afrika dengki betul. <laughs> Network pula yang toxic lah kan. But just to uh, pick off mana kita uh, tadi lah kan. So yang ni adalah Wheel of Chicken so far. Uh, setakat ni. Uh, korang boleh tengok. Perbandingan dia lah kan. So, Ryan Geeks. Hello, Ryan Geeks. What's up? Suka tengok gameplay Team Malaysia semalam. Harap dalam konsisten sampai dapat slot PNGC. Teman secret. Nabil lah. Hopefully semua-semua lah. Empat-empat sekali boleh lepas lah kan. Itu yang terbaik tu. Uh, Mohd Zai harap-harap final nanti paling kurang tiga Team Malaysia lepas ke PNGC. Dari game Super Weekend ni nampak ada gaya boleh. Tapi tak boleh stage lagi. Masih banyak game yang akan dipermainkan. Ya, masih... Banyak lagi game, of course. Uh, tak dinafikan. So, but um, you use, uh, but kata um, orang Brazil lah kan. Sekejap eh. But kata orang Brazil lah kan. Uh, we celebrate the small wins. So, yeah. Kita, apa tu, kita sambut uh, kemenangan-kemenangan. Walaupun kemenangan-kemenangan kecil dulu, uh, macam tu. Nabi Hemi, thank you for the share juga. Uh, <coughs> Dan uh, Please semua dah okay Tergendala ke macam tak je uh, I don't know Tadi memang Edwan tergendala lah So now now we okay Now we back Tapi daripada Zuhairi Hasrin Doakan tim Malaysia akan perform di PMPSC ni Dan dapatkan top 3 And salam dari Brunei Ah ni dia Zuhairi daripada Brunei Dia uh, juga menyokong uh, region uh, Malaysia Singapura Terima kasih Dan tunjuk juga foto snapshot hantar VIPM Isn't it the same? Sorry, because when I woke up and then it's like uh, urusan-urusan kerja, so it's like I saw gitu-gitu je. Yeah, that's why macam lambat sikit kita kita start live. Was it the same? Total points. Oh, for day two only. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, so that's a day two only. Okay, macam tu pun boleh juga. Sekejap, let me... Let me do this. Okay, so kita kita tengok point for day two only lah eh. Ada Azman, thank you jadi follow baru ada Azman. Okay, dah. Let me pull that out. Uh, eh. Ada tu. Okay, day two only. Yeah, so ada ni. Alright, so ni dia. Okay, so day two sahaja. Okay, so kita just letak. Eh, ada. Mana tadi? Eh, where's the? Mana note back? Oh, yeah, ni. Day 2 sahaja. Aha. Harry Ho. Hello. Good afternoon, Harry Ho. Uh, Taufik Afi, thank you for 528 uh, hari Taufik Afi. So, okay. So, ini kalau kita buat perbandingan hanya day 2 points saja. Okay. So, tadi tu is overall lah kan. So, kalau kalau day 2 points sahaja. So, axis rate 1. Uh, mana dia orang? Day 2 sahaja, X-Ray 1, okay, 18 dengan 16. 
APG uh, 15 dengan APG mana APG 5 uh, Dzebel 14 dengan 10 okey okey Eagle Esports 13 dengan uh, 14 or 11 sebelah Space Clan 12 dengan 16 okey okey Infinity 11 dengan 12 oh 11 sebelah oh dia orang 5 point je eh beza untuk semalam saja lepas tu Chomburi 10 11 pun 11 11 GDGIDS uh, 9 dengan uh, 9 dengan 7 pun dekat-dekat Vampire Esports 8 8 dengan mana Vampire dong tak perform 13 okay Seeker 7 dengan 7 dengan 3 okay uh, Gipam 6 dengan satu ya yeah, of course uh, paling 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 mantap paling banyak point kau nak kumpul uh, BN United 5 dengan 2 okey yang good 4 dengan no, jauh dia tak perform 15 uh, BTA 3 dengan 3 dengan 6 okey uh, EVOS 2 dengan 9 uh, jauh juga for rivals 1 dengan 4 so macam okey okey so uh, tu tu perbandingan dia lah uh, So Henry Ho, hello. Ah uh, dan uh, Gipeng ngeprank eh. Atau lah sikit-sikit je lah. Cik gila. <laughs> Cik. <laughs> Cik gila, gila ngeprank eh tapi sikit-sikit je. Tiba lah kan. Ah. Uh, tapi ah uh, uh, kita ada ah oh, am ada. Hello am. Um. What's up Malaysia boleh. Ah uh, itulah dia. Tapi Zuradi minat for rivals eh. Okay mantap. Boleh tahan ya for rivals. Actually for rivals pun uh, selain daripada dua chicken tu dia pun kumpul poin yang agak banyak juga lah kan so macam it, it's a good day so tiga and then axis overall axis so not bad lah kan so dia kumpul banyak poin on day one so macam okey lah tu uh, kenapa dengan team Thailand lain macam dua hari Hans Hassan gaya duduk atas kot so aku kembali kepada teori, teori gaya duduk atas uh, so kalau teori gaya duduk atas tu it was like uh, team Thailand untuk Weekday yang pertama yang kedua lepas dia orang perform satu dua lah kan uh, siapa tu uh, vampire dengan chonburi satu dengan dua lepas tu gaya duduk atas and then macam tu lah alkisanya kemungkinan lah rasa macam tu um, selain daripada tu of course lah jadi tim besar ni itulah benda yang kena hadapi lah kan semua orang nak tengok tim besar so alkisanya uh, penghujung dia macam tu lah Sebri Aznob thank you dah follow selama eh berapa lama tu oh dia tak keluar Oh, dia kena buat balik tu. Tapi mohon maaf, please. Team Sam Nine sokong semua tim Malaysia memang gila lagi dari 16 sampai nombor 4. Eh, ya, yeah, ada orang uh, kenaikan yang paling mendadak lah, please. Kevin Rush, TS, no you high, no problem. You are a great player, but Kid is a team player. Ah, uh, Kevin. Um, I think I've said this before lah, kan? Ah, uh, which is aku masih lagi berpendapat yang uh, adanya adanya Kid, adanya Kid lebih. Sebenarnya is upgrade kepada TS if you ask me lah. Sebab uh, kit dia lebih independent compare dengan Yuhai. So in general dia adalah lebih sebagai satu upgrade. Hmm. Untuk untuk TS. So yeah, it's good for them. Sebri Aznob, hello. Izan Abdul, uh, for I was auto ngeprank sebab tu dua kali chicken. Hmm. Uh, it's a it's a good marketing stunt lah kan. Ngeprank-ngeprank ni lah kan. Tiba. Hmm. Banyak skrim membuatkan tim Malaysia banyak improve habis banyak skrim membuatkan tim Malaysia banyak improve apa pendapat um, sebenarnya uh, neutral sebab semua orang pun banyak skrim so uh, neutral Okay we back we back okay tadi ada kedengkian yang berlaku okay kita bagi kita bagi sekejap lah eh. Okay, we back. Sorry guys, for some reason tadi ada kenengkian yang berlaku uh, dengan internet. So, hopefully semua dah okay-okay. By the way, Adam Azman, um, Hafiz Rudin Sukimi dengan Muhammad Syukri. Thank you jadi follower yang baru. Terima kasih. Okay, so hopefully kita dah back. Kita dah back. Harapnya team Malaysia semuanya top 5, Aiman. Uh, Amin. Kita aminkan semua benda-benda yang baik lah eh. Uh, Kairi is a kid on fire. Tak ada upat. Yeah, so... Um, 
kita definitely upgrade sebab dia punya gameplay adalah lain lah kan macam kita pun dah bincangkan uh, sebelum-sebelum ni ha. so I hope everything dah okay ni hackers dengki Malaysia ni live video interrupted ok ok so it should be okay right now it should be okay it should be okay it should be okay it should be okay Uh, Paman pun ni, aim assist on tak? Aim assist memang tak on. Aim assist dengan sound visualization memang tak on. Uh, Brian Tebika, thank you for the share. Uh, Muhammad Azni Aziz, the moment Matoy sempat menganjing Din dalam tournament sebab gagal, perlu nombor 1. Jangan gagal depan Matoy. Short clip boleh tengok IG story kit. Uh, nanti macam biasa lah. Uh, yang tu boleh tengok dekat situ lah eh. Uh, tapi kalau ala-ala nak follow IG orang ke, nak tengok IG dekat tempat lain ke, uh, boleh lah follow boleh lah follow IG ni sekali. Ah uh, IG ni sekali boleh lah kan. Together together lah kan. Ha. Uh, two in one. Dengki betul lah internet. Kan Izat, I don't know lah. Hopefully hopefully dah okay lah. Hopefully dah okay. It should be okay. It should be okay. Yeah. Anyway, I have a plan to upgrade internet so next week sepatutnya orang akan datang pasang internet. Yeah, upgrade tau. So upgrade maksudnya kena kena update lebih lah. Ah uh, patut tu. Tapi tak apalah, since aku pun heavy user of uh, internet lah kan Buat content, upload, download content, apa benda semua lah kan And then kan, uh, kebanyakan waktu baru-baru ni is like Cast daripada rumah kan, so okey lah, tak apalah uh, Bayar lebih sikit bulan-bulan But uh, yep, hopefully everything is good Dan kita dapat kualiti internet yang lebih baik Aku akan upgrade kepada 1 GB Yeah So sebab rumah baru ada fiber so akan upgrade kepada 1GB soon lah so that is the plan lah coming soon Ya yeah, so hopefully semua-semua ada semua-semua okay Rifki Muzamil thank you for the share And uh, oh thank you Roller for 50 star wow Thank you untuk Geek Fam nice performance day 2 weekend thank you to 50 star yes uh, Roller memang terbaik uh, persembahan daripada Geek Fam so far so good um, Doing the gig lah kan, bakal terpapar muas lah kan Pakai line apa? Before now, actually not even before this lah Right now, tengah pakai Unify So before this, the max my place can go Is um, Is uh, 30 Mbps So, memang the max lah, so I took memang the max lah Before this lah kan, so baru-baru ni I think like in the past uh, One month macam tu uh, Past one month Or in the past few weeks lah, lebih kurang dan baru dia orang announce that oh fiber dah ada dekat my building so i can go like 1 1 gbps max so i recently ordered so benda tu akan pasang next week lah so i'm going to change the time lepas ni because it's lagi murah benda yang sama tapi lagi murah and then i've already checked dengan semua streamer-streamer lain uh, semua orang highly recommend time so yep kawan pun recommend harga pun lagi murah for the same thing so macam ons lah so i'm going to change the time dalam masa Within by next by next week lah akan datang pasang. Kan. Aji Papa Mas dia Ricky. Dah korang semua tak nak letak. Korang semua tak nak letak. Papa Mas rajin letak. Adalah orang lain lah kan. Adalah orang lain. Tapi kalau korang nak feature korang letak lah. Follow dekat Instagram ni lah kan. Follow dekat Instagram dekat bawah ni. Lepas tu. Uh, kalau, kalau nak link boleh tengok dekat description lah kan. Uh. Mana orang lain atas soalan ni. Malu weh duk nama keluar je. Papa Mas. Ada ada ada. Ada ada next page. Ada next page. Cuma Papa Mas tangan laju lah. Ah, tapi ada next page. Ada next page. Ah, pendapat tentang Kate Aiman. Ah, dah banyak kali dah aku bagi pendapat tentang Kate. Ah, ni siapa-siapa yang follow show memang dah, dah dengar. Cakap dah banyak kali dah. Beza Kate dengan uh, Yuhai adalah. Uh, beza utama adalah Kate lebih independent daripada Yuhai. Yuhai perlukan support system. Yuhai perlukan ekosistem untuk dia berjaya. Dan... Itu dah kenampakan dekat situ lah kan uh, Di mana bila ada player yang lebih independent uh, Team akan lebih fleksibel, lebih kreatif, lebih versatile untuk buat benda-benda yang lain So uh, dia pun boleh buat hal dia sendiri Kan macam tu So maksudnya dia pun boleh macam uh, Dia pun boleh beradaptasi dengan lebih baik lah Sebab team dia boleh jadi fleksibel, dia pun lebih fleksibel sebab dia independent So semua 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 equation semua ni Uh, dia menjadikan tim tu lebih kuat lah in in general. Oh, untuk tim Malaysia semua, oh thank you Papa Mas 87 star juga. Ah oh, dia mencantikkan nombor. Ah uh, thank you Papa Mas untuk tim Malaysia. Ada uh, follow IG Ricky mantap. Itu kepada yang lain-lain yang belum lagi follow, lah kan follow lah IG guys. 
ada rules kena off MSC Sandy Ho. Uh, memang this season sejak daripada PMPL, MSC dengan sound visualization memang off. Itu memang memang dah diumumkan sebelum-sebelum ni. Untuk PMPL memang dia orang dah start. Mak Azniel Hazir, satu je time ni tak cover land house. Kalau dia orang cover sekali boleh tak apa. Oh ya yeah, betul. So aku duduk dekat apartment. So ya. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Ya yeah, orang-orang yang aku tanya pun is like semua yang duduk kondo dan apartment lah so it's, it's kebetulan dia lah tu Aman Aziz thank you for the share juga Okay so let's go through soalan-soalan daripada ataupun komen daripada Instagram lah kan So day one BTR nombor 1 48 Gig nombor 16 5, nombor 15 So day two BTR nombor 5 Lepas tu gig nombor 4 86 Gun So day two is not a good day for Thai teams Yeah Thai teams uh, Let's see. Overall, the run Thai team. So kita ada. Face scan is paling paling misteri kehidupan for me. Seriously. Um, lepas tu Eagles pun Thai. Infinity Infinity pun agak misteri kehidupan. Lepas tu Vampires pun sangat 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 turun. Lepas tu MSC pun the run dekat bawah. The run dekat tengah lah kan. So um, Apa aku boleh cakap? Okay, the 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 mystery yang paling besar, okay. uh, Infinity, Infinity, okay, Infinity, okay, I really think the only thing yang macam pasal Infinity lah kan, pasal Infinity ni dia, uh, I think is the the okay Infinity, uh, Vampires dengan Chongburi, tiga ni, tiga ni I can exp- I I can theory is it as the orang Diorang gayat sebab diorang duduk dekat atas, sila gayat duduk dekat atas, lepas tu semua orang akan nak tengok diorang and then uh, naturally diorang akan ni lah akan dipelajari dengan lebih lah kan walaupun Infinity dekat weekday diorang tak ada duduk atas tapi diorang one of the one of the big teams lah kan yang diorang konsisten daripada sebelum ni, daripada season yang lepas sampai lah ke season sekarang ni lah kan so Infinity adalah salah satu daripada team tu dan uh, ya yeah, tiga ni aku boleh bagi this theory now Face Clan Face Clan adalah misteri kehidupan yang, ti- yang I think bukan masalah uh, well I, bukanlah tiga tu bukan masalah dia orang lah kan tapi uh, Face Clan lebih weightage kepada masalah dia orang which is kalau kita tengok cara dia orang main orang tengok lah semalam semalam saya tahu daripada round 6 lah kan daripada lima round dia orang main satu elimination point sahaja lima round dia orang main satu elimination point lepas tu dia orang out Tempat 11, 14, 16, 15, 13, semuanya belas-belas lah kan untuk face clan. So, mereka like, ya, macam Azhar kata lah kan, just ada 2 point in in day number 2 sahaja. Uh, ada orang lama tak join, busy-busy tak apa. Sama kembali ada Rahim, halo-halo. Uh, that's why... That's why, that's why, that's the reason, that's the reason aku akan bercerai dengan Unify soon. Kan? That's the reason aku akan bercerai dengan Unify soon. So, Face Clan again, um, uh, yeah, Face Clan again, uh, daripada apa aku tengok, it, that, that's just too much lah kan. Satu adalah, uh, it, it's total disaster. Ya, yeah, dengki lagi Izzat, itulah dia. That's why aku akan cerai dengan Unify soon. So, untuk Face Clan, kalau kita tengok placement point dia is worse daripada hari yang pertama lah kan hari yang pertama at least adalah dapat 30 lebih point macam fine lah kan but untuk hari yang kedua ni is like only 2 points 2 pun satu elimination point satu lagi is placement point total disaster is memang total revamp face clan memang kena like like bottom up lah kan semua benda dia orang kena dia orang kena rework balik so dia orang kena rework balik semua benda dia orang kena rework balik dia orang punya uh, rotation strategi dia orang dia kena rework line up dia orang so i really don't know macam papa was kata face ada tony clear k corpai beer 11 uh, tony mafia tapi dapat two points unsung kerap ya yeah, exactly lah kan so macam face clan is ya yeah, time fiber soon lah kan abdul rahim soon soon dah 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 order on the way dah so the thing about face clan adalah dia memang semua lah dia memang semua dia atas daripada bawah, bawah sampai atas Semuanya kena gosok, semuanya kena cuci balik dan semua-semua ni lah kan So uh, uh, Line up ke, strategi ke, I don't know lah kan Mental health ke, whatever it is, you name it, semuanya adalah kan So 
yeah, this one memang perlu lah. Sangat-sangat perlu untuk Face Clan. So, there's nothing that I can say. Dia orang lawan pun tak reti nak lawan. And then rotate semua kena culik. Chap, nak pergi kepada checkpoint, tiba-tiba sampai dekat checkpoint tinggal lagi dua orang. So, apa je yang apa je yang bagus pasal Face Clan, there's totally nothing. The only thing good about Face Clan is that dia orang good looking. Ya, yeah, macam Pier 11 kan banyak peminat lah kan in terms of dia punya looks lah kan so macam good looking so uh, so alkisahnya macam tu lah <coughs> so there's nothing more that, that I can say about face clan tak ada, lah, tak ada apa lagi aku boleh hurai pasal face clan tak ada tak ada apa lagi ni adalah satu misteri kehidupan yang uh, I wish lah kan I wish ni ada I wish lah kan which I don't think is going to happen I don't know but I don't think it's going to happen I wish kita boleh dapat interview dengan wakil daripada Face Clan because aku nak dengar apakah penjelasan uh, Face Clan dengan keadaan dia orang sekarang. It's the team yang aku nak aku nak dengar. Uh, it's the team yang aku nak dengar apa 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 wakil dia orang nak cakap. What is this? Apa wakil dia orang nak cakap? That's the only thing. Kan. Topik apa? <coughs> Topik apa sekarang Biro kita cerita pasal team Thailand. Kenapa pakai time, uh, kenapa tak pakai message sebab suka hati, Anas. Uh, Face Clan C, 3 season, 4 season tak menjadi. Yes. Last season pun diorang, diorang tak menjadi and then this season pun tak menjadi. So, iya, yeah, Alkisah ni macam tu. Sebenarnya so, Azan Nob, daripada tadi dah tanya soalan ni. Ada tak tips tak konsisten dalam tournament supaya gameplay tak down? Uh, satu adalah berlatih, dua adalah mental kena kuat. Itu je. Uh. Iza, kalau boleh try dapatkan wakil face clan, mungkin ada uh, sebab-sebab tertentu. Ya, yeah, exactly. Tapi, um, tapi I think penentu, I don't know lah. I think pen, penentuan untuk siapa interview tu, uh, of course bukan kita, kita tak boleh tentukan. Uh, second criteria, I, I don't know lah kan, kalau Thailand, sebab semua bahasa, dia orang interview orang lain-lain. Semua bahasa, dia orang interview orang lain-lain. So, Thailand mungkin dia interview face kan? I don't know. I didn't check lah kan. Bukan yang aku boleh faham bahasa dia orang pun. Kena pakai yang translator yang subtitle tu. Uh, but siapa 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 rajin boleh try tengok lah kan. Uh, so uh, siapa siapa rajin boleh try tengok. Apakah apakah dia punya ni lah. Uh, kalau ada lah kan interview dengan face clan. Because I really want to know. I really want to hear daripada face clan. Apa kisah diorang. Tapi asalnya RRQ ke Anas? Uh, not really. Diorang beli player je. Diorang beli player je macam Beer 11 tu semua. But not really directly daripada tu lah. Tapi diorang pecah-pecah lah. Dia bukan macam directly macam tu lah. Thailand ada yang boleh English like Infinity. Duk tengok muka Q0 je. I know right. I I think I think I think Tash ada, ada something dengan Zero dah. Kan? But just 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 behind the scenes lah kan. So Tash kata like uh, her favorite interview of obviously Y2K. So Y2K dia, dia banyak boleh bagi input. Uh, Zero is like it's like so it's like, it's like just so fun uh, macam tu. Uh, but uh, dia paling tak suka interview the manager for Young Good for YG. Kan? I mean we we just watch it lah kan. Kita tengok manager YG tu macam you serious bro? Why you so grumpy? Why you so like why you so edgy? Macam chill lah bro kan bukannya kita yang buat kau salah lah kan <laughs> and and i i would expect better from a manager lah kan like jaga pr for the team and all that lah kan be the good face kan of the team tapi dia macam uh okay awkward moment but another one of course is sin sin had a good interview juga lah kan it was entertaining sin sin is the entertaining interview kalau like you want the you want the uh, also in also uh, interesting interview i think zero And then kalau macam inside pun interview dia is Y2K lah macam tu. And but YG punya manager yang Kevin tu macam uh, <laughs> uh, macam dreaded sangat lah kan yang masa masa Tash nak interview dia tu. So so Alki saja lah kan. Okay so anyway yeah that that's pretty much about the Thai team. So daripada Papa Mas Infinity Armor dah start to crack individual skill kaka but tactics questionable. Yeah the two two split yang dia orang biasa buat and that dia orang uh, dia orang still buat lagi. So Zikri hello terlepas sebab kat kampung apa apa hope bye bye di rumah. Bye bye aja. Hope ni dekat kampung pun bye bye aja Zo Zikri. Okay so untuk Infinity lah kan. Um 
So it seems like the two two split yang dia best support and it works for the pada season yang lepas lah kan. Uh, sangat sangat worth throughout this whole season. Sekarang ni is not working at all untuk untuk dia orang. So eh, eh, dia dah mula menunjukkan apa tau? This the theory. Dia dah mula menunjukkan apa? Dia mula menunjukkan yang Infinity ni dia orang tak flexible. Dia orang tak versatile. Dia orang tak flexible. Dia orang macam okay kita fix pada satu benda je. You fix pada satu benda je. So if it doesn't work out, we will still fix to satu benda je. Yeah, pada hal it's like it, it, it should be like okay kalau benda tu tak work out then uh, kita cari alternatif lah kan. Tapi for Infinity it feels like okay tak work out tak apa kita fix lagi kita fix sampai kita dapat. Yeah, I mean kita 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 tetap dengan satu benda tu sampai sampai dapat juga. So this is very very dangerous untuk Infinity. Kalau orang tak boleh adapt, kalau orang tak berserta. Uh, if it doesn't work out for like dua tiga game dah macam too soon lah kan then patutnya something should should change dah untuk infinity but i must say like kan, individual skill dia orang sangat 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 mantap nuzi is still oh my god is still like, i i think lah kan kalau dia orang ada the right tactics kan okay so this is what i i heard lah kan ini adalah apa yang aku dengar so i'm not so i'm not sure ini adalah dengar-dengar saja ya infinity dia orang tak ada coach dia orang tak ada analyst kiranya dia orang macam bergerak macam indie lah macam tu lah kan. This is why I heard. Betul ataupun tak aku tak sure ya ni. Ini adalah dengar khabar angin sahaja. So dengar kata dia orang tak ada that, uh, support staff untuk dia orang. So I mean a team macam Infinity I would expect them untuk ada lah kan. Tapi kalau betul yang kedengaran dia orang tak ada support staff. They should have a support staff. Ini aku tak sure. Ini disclaimer aku tak sure. Aku dengar sahaja lah eh. So kalau betul dia orang tak ada then they really need to have one. Uh, they don't get other support staff because they're individually they're not so good. I mean, just look at Nuzi semalam. Satu lawan tiga, easy, boleh settle. Satu lawan tiga, bukan lawan calang-calang pula tu. Lawan Axis Red One, yeah, lawan uh, Mika, lawan lawan Boki, semua semua tu. Memang sangat sangat hebat. And and bukan sekali je dia buat. It's like after that, uh, lepas tu the next era juga pun dia orang dia orang boleh buat juga like one v two, one v three, easy untuk dia orang. Dia orang macam boleh settle. Like wow, sangat sangat kuat lah kan. So individually skills memang kau kau, but tactical I totally agree is sangat sangat questionable sekarang ni untuk Infinity. I give them one more day. Kalau kalau hari ni pun orang tak tak boleh adapt balik, oh I'm going to change my talent prediction untuk minggu akan datang. Uh, Shaf di Kentius, thank you to Splo Star. Hello selamat petang. How am I today? So so far so good, yeah. Hopefully everything doing great. Moga di mukakan rezeki dan dipunakan segala urusan. Enjoy your day. Thank you, Sharp. Terima kasih, Sharp. Yang juga merupakan supporter. Terima kasih, Sharp. Thank you. Thank you, Sharp. Tiba. Kalau betul, aku boleh jadi analyst untuk Infinity. Aku kena belajar Thai lah. Macam ni lah kan. Kap kung kap. Tom yam gong. Uh, sawati kap. Ha ha ha. Itu je lah yang boleh cakap lah kan. Uh, tiba. Tapi bom itu weh. Bom Nuzi pun still bagus dari sini lepas lagi. Si... Semalam Jack Clutch pakai ball. Yeah, Nuzi is wow. I think lah kan. Kalau dia ada the right tactics lah kan, like, and then dia boleh konsisten. Nuzi can be one of the contender untuk macam maybe terminator of the season. It is so good. Aku rasa antara semua individual kan, individual performance Nuzi kita susah nak nafikan Nuzi punya kehebatan lah. Like semalam he show, he show dia macam okay. Dia punya uff, kau kau dia macam mana? Carry team kau-kau. Satu lawan tiga. Dua kali pula tu. Satu lawan tiga menang. So it's not like you cannot say like. Oh dia luck. Satu lawan tiga. So dia buat dua kali. <laughs> In the same day. So kita tadi cakap. Oh dia luck je satu lawan tiga. Tak dia. Hari yang sama tu. Eh mantan Nurul. Thank you 50 star. Sawatika. Minum ketum. Payah setap. Oh thank you. 50 star mantan Nurul. Thank you. Mantan Nurul is in the house guys. Dah, dah lah selalu banyak bagi sumbangan. And all that lah kan. Thank you. Pain no pain cup. <laughs> but it's sangat sangat kuat. Sangat sangat kuat. But I don't know. Infinity is is questionable sekarang ni lah kan. Uh, sangat boleh dipersoalkan. Which I I don't I don't know. I don't know how. Tapi tim Muti Jaya. Thank you jadi follower yang baru. Tapi tim dia tanya. Apa komen tentang tim Seeker? Sebab hari tu condemn dua aja tak boleh main sama. Uh, do, we, do we have a topic on that? So kita boleh macam bundle kan. Dia tak ada topik on that. 
So so this is this what I think lah kan. So so actually aku dah cakap benda ni hari tu juga. So mungkin tim uh, tengok episod yang jauh-jauh juga lah kan. So episod yang baru-baru ni mungkin tim tak tak tengok. So uh, the the pendapat yang baru-baru ni share adalah I'm still with dua 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 idea tak boleh tak boleh work. I'm still with that. I'm still with that. Uh, sebab kita ada majority sample yang dua ideal cannot work. Now, ni benda yang kita tak tahu di sebalik tabel lah kan. Apakah arrangement dia orang. Uh, Farish Aris, thank you jadi follower yang baru. Kita tak tahu apa arrangement dia orang. Melainkan kita boleh ada mic check dia orang ke. Ataupun kita betul-betul mendalami dia orang punya comms ke dan sebagainya. Which is I think the mic check is is the best lah kan. Jika ada. Kalau ada lah kan. So, kita tak tahu arrangement di sebalik tabel dia orang macam mana. Is it like, okay. Um... Apa yang aku nampak macam jumper yang stand down lah kan. So macam jumper macam stand down. So aku, kalau aku ambil contoh, aku ambil assumption yang jumper memang ada stand down. So, uh, so it's like, okay, jumper is like, okay. Hmm. Mud toilet, whatever it is, dengan mud toilet. So maybe dia orang dah ada persefahaman macam tu and the persefahaman works and then kalau macam tu, then it works, it works, it works lah. Sebab kalau benda ni is all about persefahaman juga. Well, it's not it's not about ada dua IGL. That is not the the masalah akar dia ataupun the root cause dia lah kan uh, masalah akar ataupun the root cause dia adalah uh, ada adakah dia boleh compromise biasanya dalam uh, biasanya kalau ada dua aja biasa aja ada ego and benda ni adalah normal lah kan so uh, benda ni adalah normal so benda tu akan ada konflik tapi katakan kalau let's say kalau tak dua aja it's not it's not about the role tau is about the mentality. Tapi kalau kalau letak dua IGL and then one of the IGL boleh macam okay, I, I, I can step back. It's okay. Then that is fine at the end of the day. Dia sama macam konsep. Dia sama macam konsep yang dia sama macam konsep let's say let's say EVOS lah kan. So ada Luxy dengan ada Inso. So kita memang tahu I mean from personality base and all that lah kan. Inso boleh jadi IGL. Tapi kalau Luxy ada, then Inso boleh step back as, boleh step, step, step back. Uh, dia boleh chill, dia boleh step back. So, kalau, kalau, uh, kalau ada persepahan macam tu, then it works. Then you can have dua orang dalam satu team. Then it's fine. So, it's not about the role. Role tu hanyalah satu assignment saja. Tapi yang paling penting adalah mentality of uh, player tu, macam mana penerimaan dia dia di dalam team tu dan sebagainya 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 dia kena dengar cakap siapa ataupun siapa kena dengar cakap siapa and all that lah kan so it's about it's not about the role it's about the mentality tu so, role tu hanya memudahkan kita untuk kategorikan um, siapa buat apa itu je Mohd Fidaus thank you jadi follow baru Mohd Hakim Zaki hello gerak dulu Ain dah follow 400 dua hari mantap Uh, so ada yang cakap jumper my IGL, matoy my support, ada yang cakap jumper full scalp me, B, short call by matoy. Uh, I mean kita just boleh teorikan dekat luar je lah kan. Melainkan kita ada dia punya mic check tu baru kita boleh, uh, baru kita boleh betul-betul um, mendalami lah kan. Uh, but so far, uh, it, itu adalah apa yang kita boleh teorikan. But daripada Papa Mas lagi, silik ni macam circle haji memanjang sampai terpaksa harapkan Wheel of Chicken untuk predict juara. Yeah, I know right. So, uh, the circle kat ni ni, uh, I think lagi dahsyat daripada PMPR MYG lah kan. Dia lagi dahsyat. Di mana circle is like, betul-betul absolute ping pong. Like, like, like okay. Like, mula-mula it can be like, agak okay, quite nice lah kan. Mula-mula lah kan. And then bila dah sampai, let's say, tiga ke empat circle macam tu, kita nak tengok circle tu macam, okay, betul-betul atas ataupun betul-betul bawah. Betul-betul kiri, betul-betul kanan. So, it's like, betul-betul, um, hard chip lah kan so uh, so yeah I mean it, it, it's quite interesting to see that and and dia memang bawa dynamics yang besar kepada the game lah kan so I, I'm sure these updates dia orang ada algorithm sebalik tabi how the circle works and all that I'm very sure but of course dia orang takkan release kan how it works kalau dia orang release kan how it works then <laughs> then you know then there's no point of playing the game in the first place lah kan so betul-betul so it's, it's quite interesting to see circle macam ni it's uh, entertaining lah untuk kita as viewer it's uh, tak seronok untuk as player lah of course lah kan unless play tu dapat circle then lain cerita lah kan 
Safija, hello Safija. Dekat YouTube mata ada my chat map Mirama yang face clan and chicken. Uh, so uh, kalau ada masa boleh lah mendalami. So so far aku tak ada masa lagi nak mendalami. So ya. Yeah. So Hakim Zaki cakap jumpa cakap dia ajar minggu ni. Uh, kalau dia cakap okey lah tu. Uh, okey lah tu. So last game near half the lobby jadi buat zero kills. What the heck Papa Mwas. Last game? Oh ya. Yeah. Actually there were a lot of zeros lah kan. Um, Ya, yeah, there were a lot of zeros. Correct, correct. The last game tu. The last game tu dekat Irangle. And that was the circle yang... That was the circle biasa je. Hmm. Yeah, that was the circle biasa dekat sebelah kanan. So, I I don't know why. Mat, ramai yang mati zone ke something like that lah kan. It was something like that. Ram, ramai yang mati zone pada circle biasa zone. Yang tu susah sikit nak explain lah kan. I, I don't know. That one, I I can't really explain that juga. Including Yangun pun, it's like... It's like... Enam tapi kosong. Hmm, interesting. Banyak yang kosong, kosong, kosong. I don't know where all the all the elimination semua pergi. Tapi One Piece, thank you lima belas tar. One Piece, thank you. One Piece lima belas tar. Muhammad Adib, thank you jadi follower yang baru juga. Malaysia padu. Eh, uh, Malaysia sangat padu semalam. So yeah, I mean, like for me pun, even before the Super Weekend start, aku dah cakap like like my prediction was that uh, Malaysia will do well. So I wouldn't be too worried about Team Malaysia overall. Of course, kita ada cakap pasal, okay, uh, Geek Fam nombor 16 lah kan, on day one. But it was day one. At the end of the day, apa yang penting adalah what happens pada hujung day three. So, itu yang paling penting sekali lah kan. Of course, kalau release algorithm terus nampak semua tim kubur satu tempat selalu dah dapat praise. Exactly, right? So, I'm sure the developers, they orang make their own changes. And, okay, ni, 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 this is pen, uh, about, since kita cakap pasal topik circle lah kan, Papa Mas pada bangkit kan. So, if I'm the developer, kalau aku ada developer lah kan, what I will see is that, okay, sebab, aku tahu how they think, sebab aku pernah kerja dengan company, company software, before this lah kan, so company software, company yang buat application semua, so, aku tahu macam mana developer fikir, so in this case, aku boleh bagi this theory, di mana, diorang ada benda dipanggil big data, ah, okay, big data, kan. Dia ada benda dipanggil big data. So big data ni adalah data yang dikumpul berdasarkan dengan uh, berdasarkan corak permainan player-player. Uh, so terpulalah dia orang nak kumpul daripada uh, pro team ke, dia orang kumpul daripada kawan-kawan semua yang main klasik ke whatever it is lah kan. I'm very sure dia orang ada big data. Kenapa aku pasti dia ada big data? Sebab dia orang boleh keluarkan statistik kilometer lah, dia boleh keluarkan statistik bomb lah apa benda semua. Se Diorang boleh track semua benda tu. In production terms, dipanggil sebagai API. Tapi in developer terms, dipanggil sebagai big data. So, diorang ada tracking semua benda ni. Kalau tak, mana diorang tahu? Oi, berapa banyak kilometer eh? Ah, Berapa banyak long, apa, uh, uh, longest elimination distance, apa benda semua. Macam mana diorang tahu? So, diorang ada big data. So, diorang track semua benda di dalam game. So, apa yang developer boleh... Uh, buat adalah dengan data ni semua ni Diorang boleh ditem, diorang boleh tentukan Sama ada ada pattern ataupun tidak So kalau dah mula ada corak permainan Dah ada pattern contohnya lah kan Oh orang dah start macam baca circle Orang dah start macam oh ok Macam contoh, aku bagi contoh lah kan Contoh praktikal Dulu kita selalu kata macam Oh airdrop adalah tempat circle ada Ataupun uh, Tempat paling sikit orang Adalah tempat di mana circle akan pergi Benda ni benda-benda teori, teori yang kita pernah keluarkan lah kan. So, developer, dia orang takkan ikut teori tu. Tapi dia akan ikut the the corak data tu. So, kalau dah semakin ramai orang ikut teori-teori tu, dia orang akan macam, oh, okay. So, in teo, so korang semua banyak ikut teori ni. Fine. Kiranya korang dah mungkin 80% baca kita punya circle lah kan. So, bila, maybe dia orang ada threshold juga lah kan. Kita banyak cerita pasal macam benda-benda like all this uh, analytics lah kan. So, mungkin dia ada threshold macam, okay, katakan kalau, kalau 60% atau whatever it is lah kan, just throwing out a number. Kalau kalau 80% daripada orang dah mula tepat masuk dalam circle, then 80% mungkin daripada semua orang main klasik ke, main tournament ke, whatever data it is lah kan. Lepas tu, dia orang akan tukar algorithm. Circle. Make sense kan? 
Ah ini mix. And then bila dia orang tukar of course dia orang tak akan bagi tahu. And then uh, kalau orang yang dah biasa dengan oh okey baca suka macam ni tengok airdrop ke tengok tempat paling sikit orang and all that lah kan. And then sekali kena scam. Ah uh, it is because uh, benda ni berlaku. And ini adalah aku punya teori lah kan of how of how the the development of the circle works. Dia akan tengok kalau benda tu dah mula jadi trend, dia orang akan change. Dia akan tukar benda tu dah mula jadi trend ah dia akan buat tu yang terjadi terjadinya circle scam ah macam tu lah hai kak akimi thank you jadi follower yang baru itu akan jadi circle scam so this is how i see uh, knowing orang knowing ya uh, so knowing orang-orang developer ni this is how they how it works papa was tu sebab masa analysis boleh tunjuk movement players and chicken exactly All the raw data ada sampaikan data yang kurang pun ada like vehicle usage atau favorite apa. Exactly. The most useless data, sorry to say lah kan, but vehicle usage is one of the most useless data. But anyway, you you can still make something out of it lah kan. Macam, oh okay, basically this team likes to rotate jauh through through that data lah kan. So memang semua raw data memang ada. It's, it's just a matter of how diorang nak gunakan the raw data je. Yeah, and this is very normal with a tech company. Uh, yeah, I can tell you like like I work with different tech companies. You got, I work with Grab before this, also one of the biggest tech companies. And and data like this is is memang the number one determination of apa yang dia akan buat next. I think most even though if you're not a tech company, lah kan, most company, most corporations pun guna data as decision making. Very very sure. Um, Most lah, most lah kan. Kalau yang kecil sana tu, but yeah, most lah in general lah kan. Even startup pun sama juga gunakan data untuk make decision. So sama juga untuk untuk developer kita. So kalau macam oh orang sini tak boleh baca kita, kita tak yah susah susah buat update macam tu lah. Kita fokus on project project atau initiative initiative yang lain, kan. Tapi kalau dah oh threshold 80% orang dah mula um, consistent dengan kita punya circle, ah uh, then kita start to work on the next algorithm lah. Ah uh, so dia orang buat satu mini project um, refresh of algorithm whatever they want to call the project lah kan uh, uh, company company tech ni biasa dia ada nama-nama kelakar untuk namakan project dia orang lah so yeah so this is how it works uh, yang mungkin this explanation deep untuk banyak orang lah kan tapi kalau siapa-siapa yang uh, berminat dengan this sort of explanation uh, i hope this is uh, some is interesting sharing lah because uh, i think this is quite deep with the explanation coming for somebody yang pernah kerja dengan I've worked with tiga tech companies. Ya, yeah, dalam masa zaman-zaman aku kerja lah. Aku dah kerja dengan tiga tech companies. So, uh, dia ada consumer tech, dia ada enterprise tech juga. So, I know I know how developers would think lah. Papa was vehicle usage percentage tinggi maknanya banyak kali mati sebelum sempat nak jalan kaki and take fight lama-lama. Ah, that's one of it also. So, so if we really want to go deep with the data, like I, what I can think of on top of my head is that vehicle usage is tinggi, tapi uh, placement point rendah, meaning that your rotation problem. Vehicle usage is tinggi, placement point tinggi means your rotation perfect. <laughs> rotation jauh tapi perfect. I mean, there, there's a lot of there's a there's a lot of things that we can play with data. That's why I, I like to look at data. Sebenarnya, I'm a very I'm more, that's why I'm a realist guy. I like to look at data and I like to make sense out of it. Like, and, uh, I miss I miss that part of my job, Lulu. I don't miss the part where I have to deal with <laughs> bad people. <laughs> no one does. Tapi aku miss the part where I like to deal with data. Adakah terlalu awal untuk kita One Piece? Uh, thank you, Splo Star. Adakah terlalu awal untuk kita? Uh, maksud terlalu awal apa untuk Team Malaysia ke? Uh, of course awal lah sebab kita minggu pertama pun kita tak settle lagi kita ada lagi dua minggu lah kan so but of course mana-mana kita boleh bergembira kita bergembira lah why not lah kan atas lalu dalam kereta yang bunuh orang by lanyard je tak nak turun kereta then we have to look at another data which I think they can pull off the data sebab dia ada keluar dekat screen uh, car elimination And they already keluar like the elimination feed bagi create uh, apa the logo creator and you know like that, that one lah kan means that there is a separate data for that mesti mesti ada separate data set mesti so I'm sure that we can pull out it's whether you they want to pull out or not lah kan uh, oh but sebelum kas kerja developer ke uh, tak uh, 
Aku study ada background programming lah dulu. Aku study pernah ada background programming dan uh, masa zaman dulu masa HTML mula-mula popular lah about like uh, 15 tahun lepas. Uh, time tu aku ada buat website sendiri lah just for fun lah buat website sendiri guna GeoCities and all that. Uh, and then um, dekat IPT aku ada belajar programming. Aku belajar programming zaman dulu lah C++ lah. Uh, Java tak sempat nak belajar, belajar C++ and then bila aku kerja uh, aku tak kerja developer, tapi aku kerja HR, aku kerja HR, tapi aku kerja dengan company technology so aku banyak interact dengan developer lah so that's why I can I can understand macam mana developer punya kepala diorang fikir Wah Arif, masuk circle awal nanti circle penuh, susah nak masuk dah Ya yeah, dia dia pro and con lah, circle awal ataupun masuk awal ataupun masuk lambat dia dia quite, dia quite pro and con jugalah Hello Aisha, what's up? GeoCity selama tak dengar tu. Si we 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 share a lot of common things kan. Ah uh, GeoCity. Yeah, I was I was one of the users of GeoCity zaman dulu. I don't think they exist anymore lah kan. Yeah, like to build your own website you need to learn HTML. So so when I was like zaman when I was like umur 13 ke apa? 12 ke 13? Ah uh, 13 ke I think 13 ke apa? Something lah ada like 12 13 ke plus ke lebih kurang macam tu I built my own website on GeoCities platform guna HTML so so I learn very basic programming daripada zaman awal lagi I remember I built it untuk apa eh for gaming stuff lah I remember I think it was for gaming stuff it's so long I don't even remember that exactly uh, tapi yeah GeoCities that was fun that was fun I remember it was like bangga tau dapat wah aku belajar programming so buat website sendiri wow and during that age lah kan wow But it, it's good because I think it, it 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 really teaches macam you learn to be logic. But at the end of the day, bila masuk IPT, I, I don't like I don't like programming no, because it's it's too linear for me. I don't like I I like benda yang kita boleh debate. Uh, macam law subjects I like. Aku suka perundangan. Uh, so aku dah belajar per, pasal perundangan juga. Uh, so aku suka perundangan. Aku suka benda yang kita boleh debate. Yang kita ada boleh A boleh B boleh C. Uh, kan? Aku tak suka benda yang terlalu linear uh, Programming is terlalu linear Mathematik is terlalu linear for me So it's not my kind of thing Dia cerita pasal personal lah kan Ada algoritm ke Kalau fight early circle dengan late circle Henry um, Kalau fight early circle Dengan late circle I don't think there is That algorithm So I I don't know This is very hard to tell Sebab semuanya adalah based on the back end Semuanya adalah back end, semuanya adalah development, benda yang kita tak So I can't really tell benda tu. So it's it's just like you need to play a lot, a lot, a lot. Tengok a lot, a lot, a lot baru boleh come up with, with mungkin a pattern lah. Itu pun adalah teori je. So it's very hard for me to tell. Kali so main bola pun pakai data. Everything is about data. Yes, betul. Um, that's why uh, manager Arsenal yang sebelum ni, apa tahu nama dia aku pun dah tak ingat dah. So dia, dia noob. <laughs> so that. <laughs> Uh, dia dia adalah data driven person and Arsenal Arsenal sebenarnya dia orang ada a date, big data specialist ya yeah, dia orang bukan dia orang ada data scientist uh, even team bola professional pun ada data scientist betul dia orang dengan the, the the theories and all that juga hello Hong Jun what's up thank you dah follow part of part hari now you lost what's up Aisha that's why you join us from the start then you won't be lost uh. But okay, so so daripada so that is the big picture about the circle lah kan. Okay, daripada daripada apa-apa pas tinggal komen pada circle kita boleh pergi pasal data algorithm dan semua-semua benda tu dan geocities. <laughs> also lah kan jauh kita pergi. But okay, it's a good day to be Malaysian fan. Kapa apa mas? I so semalam uh, kan aku buat the clipping for the challenge tu lah kan, which is aku edit sampai pukul tujuh pagi. Um, So korang hargai lah sikit clipping tu lah kan, share-share kan lah tu, sikit clip tu Edit sampai pukul 7 pagi tau uh, So, support-support lah sikit lah kan, clip clip yang challenge dengan cucu tu lah kan um, So uh, So, what was it again aku nak cakap Oh yeah, so aku, sambil aku clip tu, sambil tu aku tengok lah comment daripada English feed lah kan dekat YouTube uh, And then uh, banyak orang luar pun cakap, oh Malaysian teams is consistent today. So, banyak orang pun acknowledge benda tu ya. Team Malaysia uh, consistent uh, semalam. So, so yeah. 
kalau orang tua pun acknowledge so that that's a good thing untuk kita lah kan apa-apa orang suatu I mean manager tu yang resume tak impressive pasal awal rahsia last teamnya from Japanese club wait what? there was Asun Wenger but Asun Wenger the, his time that was it works lah kan and then that I forgot dah apa nama manager tu because he He did a, he did a work out for me lah. Like, until I don't remember. And then after that, Ateta, which is uh, trust the process lah. Pula kan Ateta, a really true blood player punya manager. But I think there should be a mix lah like, kan. There should be practical and there should be like, so that you know how to translate the data more accurately. There should be data driven, there should be practical untuk buat. Unai Emirate, thank you, faham ni? Unai Emirate, betul. Unai Emirate, betul. Masa diorang hire Unai Emirate, tapi... Tapi dia try dengan Villa, yes, okay, masa dia orang hire Una Emirate, sebenarnya aku excited. Sebab I'm a data guy, like, I like to look at data. So, masa dia orang masuk Una Emirate, and Una Emirate cakap, uh, uh, masa tu one of the first few things yang dia buat adalah dia hire data scientist. So, uh, dia suka data or that. Dalam interview tu, one of the interviews aku ingat dia lagi. <coughs> and I was excited, but maybe it's too much on the data side that they forgot the human side of the of things, like, kan? So, human side of things, they kurang sebab dia ada language barrier iaitu English dia kurang so I remember lagi dia siap interview pun dia kena pakai translator so I think yes data maybe dia strong tapi the human side dia kurang so team tu pun tak function so dia kena ada balance dulu benda ni lah kan dia kena ada human side and dia kena ada data side because at the end of the day you're dealing with people kan tapi you make decisions based on data but you're dealing with people so dua-dua kena ada so that's why it's not easy untuk jadi the manager lah kan Ah yes yes, dia famous dengan Budi Bening <laughs> Tu je lah English yang dia, dia mampu lah kan Other than that, it's like dia Dia, dia depend on uh, translator Budi Bening I remember, I remember now, thank you Dah lupa tak tengok bola, that's why macam Ingat tak lupa dah You got beli lunch and bawa anak buah pusing satu lipis Wow, satu lipis eh Not bad Aisyah, spending weekend with uh, anak buah, that's nice We saw next four weekend because most teams will study our Malaysian team That is possible itu possible, itu possible. So, um, so it's about adaptability lah kan untuk Malaysian teams. Papa bos, kalau pasal stats in sports, tengok movie Moneyball about how baseball use data as stats, walaupun first impression plays macam wait what? I love that movie so much. Oh my god, we got so much in common, Papa bos. My god, my god, we should be born in the same era tau. Wah Rahimi, thank you for the share. I love that movie so much, Moneyball. I love it so much. I love it. I think banyak orang akan rasa movie itu boring because it's like, you know the movie yang banyak cakap-cakap lah kan. But I like those kind of movie yang macam very thought-provoking punya movie. I love that movie so much, Moneyball. So underrated. Tengok Moneyball guys by... Um, siapa nama pelakon tu yang handsome tu? Mungkin aku lupa dah. Brad Pitt, ya. Yeah. Tengok Moneyball by Brad Pitt. Um, best movie tu. That's all I can say. Ya, yeah, kena tengok still. I love the movie so much. <laughs> We share so much in common, it's scary, you know. <laughs> uh, Brad Pitt, yes, Brad Pitt. We share so much in common. Oh my god. Uh, I think maybe past life kita macam, like, like, I don't know. Like, stay together or something like that. Yeah. But anyway, so kita move on to the next one. So, R, uh, RXXBBYXX. Uh, rasanya team dari Thailand mungkin esok akan mula perform. Okay, so ni pendapat daripada uh, RXXBBYXX. Kata tim Malaysia, uh, tim Thailand mungkin akan perform esok. Hmm. Kalau perform pun, aku akan bagi pada tiga tim je. Satu tim tu is totally aku tak yakin. Face Clan. Face Clan is totally tak yakin. Kalau perform hari ni pun, I will give to the tiga tim. And kalau tiba-tiba Infinity perform, naik atas Chongburi, aku akan lagi marah. Aku akan macam, oh, time time aku kena challenge tu, korang tak perform lah kan? Uh, time lepas dah aku dah dah kena denda baru korang perform uh, korang ni kan uh, you will see me saying that right? just wait and see lah kan benda tu daripada Izzat pula nampak banyak benda yang berlaku 360 sekarang 4 rivals dah buktikan semuanya hmm. but this is this is PUBG Mobile lah kan that's why that's why that's 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 why uh, ok sambungan tu lah yang dia boleh bawa back to back 2 chicken dinner dan semua dah keluarkan beta yang ada. So that's why kan sebenarnya I I don't like to do predictions for PUBG Mobile seriously. I don't like. 
because the variety is terlalu banyak. Terlalu banyak. 16 team pun, pun dah cukup pening dah. 20 team pun dah cukup pening dah. Benda tu dah ter, benda tu terlalu banyak. So I don't like to do predictions untuk PUBG Mobile. Seriously. That's why aha, bila kita buat prediction, kita minta bantuan Wheel of Chicken. Aha, nampak tak tu? Borders of Randy dan macam mana. So at least daripada Wheel of Chicken, kita ada a baseline punya benda untuk kita mula borak and then kita go on from there lah kan. But overall, I I don't like I don't like to I don't like to do predictions for PUBG Mobile because it's just so hard lah kan. Especially for pro pro level lah, for pro level especially. The infinity tu jadi helang tu. Tunggu masa nak sambar. Eh jangan, helang dah ada eagles. Nanti orang dan claim tiba. Kasha, rush me. Semua team dah keluarkan gameplay gila. Siap. Satu je aku seram. Infinity dengan pace sedang berenang sambil minum. Bila dah kenyang, harap team kita lebih alert. So, dia yakin lagi dengan Face Clan lah kan Rush. Interesting. Okay, so Rush yakin lagi dengan Face Clan. Okay, that's fine. Let, let's see what's going to happen. Walaupun aku dengan aku dengan Face Clan, aku still macam, no, not for me. If, if team lain, aku rasa okay lah kan. But for Face Clan, it's still like eh for me. For me lah personal, it's still like eh lah. Uh, I, I, aku ada like uh, this new toy lah kan. I'll, I'll show you guys soon. So, this new toy allows me untuk bawa the camera pergi studio hari ini. Yes! Aku dah boleh um, ada a, a important item untuk yeah, menjadi pencetus yang aku boleh bawa kamera pergi studio. Kuen Shi, thank you for notify. PPSC sekarang sengit. Seru, seru eh. Asyik, jangan seru-seru. Takut. <laughs> Kuen Shi, thank you for 680 hari. Lama tak jumpa Kuen Shi? Uh, so, daripada Papa Papa lagi, Pace, Moral, Shot, Dump, Kau Kau, only 2 points collected for day 2. Yeah, I think like what we say lah kan, so, um, I think Pace sekarang ni lah kan, not only tactically and all that lah kan, this is, diorang mentally mesti totally koyak, like, uh, I think diorang ada face pun, ada uh, the face pun, yang letak lah player mana-mana pun I think that dia orang pun ada masalah yang sama which is the 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 mentality issue untuk buat comeback because you, because dia orang macam give up dia orang macam this super weekend it feels like a give up so so I don't know dia orang ber coach ke manager ke I think kena buat a lot daripada mentality punya side uh, because it's total it, it looks like dia orang macam tak nak main dah can she busy kerja tak apa yang penting uh, jalankan uh, tugas hakiki lah kan itu yang paling penting uh, sebab kerja tu satu ibadah hashtag dan dakwah tiba tapi thank you for coming back QNC lama tak jumpa so Papa Muas dah tak ada ngeprank do the gig yeah I know right how, how many times is gig going to do this for us to us berapa banyak kali gig akan do this to us kan berapa banyak kali gig akan do this to us daripada daripada dekat PMPL MYSG diorang dah buat Papa Muas tak senang duduk Kan, berapa banyak kali daripada MYSG kepada Grand Finals kepada sekarang ni pun kepada uh, weekday tu weekday PMPRC okey lah kan tapi kepada Super Weekend berapa banyak kali gig nak buat ni untuk dengan kita lah kan berapa banyak kali gig nak scam kita lah kan I know right is <sighs> tapi cerita pasal scam so daripada komen Papa Mas hi kan jika GG GG well played kepada semua um, Papa Mas esok conteng muka macam rock band kiss Talking about scam, ni lah dia infinity lah kan. Time I needed you to perform, you guys tak perform lah pula lah kan. Uh, time I don't need you to perform like last season or that, you guys perform lah kan. Selama je. So, infinity dah menyebabkan aku akan kena contek muka pada hari ni. Dengan lipstick. And we didn't plan this, okay. I mean we didn't plan siapa akan menang. Who, who can plan siapa akan menang lah kan. Kita just go with our favorite pick and then kita buat challenge. So it looks like Infinity Diorang kalah So hari ni muka aku akan dicontek So aku terima Aku terima dengan seadanya Aku punya Aku punya punishment Nanti So yeah So kita terima je lah What to do I'll, I'll leave it to her Dah lah cucu ni dia, 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 dia pandai melukis So I don't know what she's gonna draw So all the best lah Terima je lah Terima je lah Anyway ni Jajaz Geek masuk miracle Masuk miracle semalam baru padu so you think Sane tak padu ke? I think it's not really about the lineup kot. I think that uh, so aku tak nampak lagi like like kalau masuk miracle, Dora akan ada uh, extra kekuatan. Uh, tak nampak lagi this one. I think it's just a it's just a like just a refresh lah kot. I don't think they macam 
macam the biggest factor lah kan. I don't know. I, I that, that's what I feel. Apa kau orang rasa pasal pasal the lineup tu? Because I I don't see like because I don't see lah macam oh masuk mereka mereka lah jadi terminator. You know benar-benar macam tu lah kan. Ada lah di keluar dekat cerita tu lah kan. Uh, but it it's not like not like the kau kau punya. Not like not like the 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 damn root yang boleh dapat macam uh, seorang tu boleh dapat blast blast kill macam tu. It's not it's not that 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 big of an impact. Hari ni ada Super Weekend kan Fakula? Ada? Hari ni pukul 6 juga. Sama. Rashmi, Infinity kalau main dekat Thailand awal-awal macam ni memang nampak biasa. Diorang perform late-late game macam Nova dekat PMGC. Dia baca semua gameplay team. So you think so juga? So Aisyah pun rasa Infinity kau-kau hari ni. So, so okay. So so looks like macam Rashmi pun kata like uh, Infinity uh, Infinity macam ada banyak harapan pada Infinity lah kan. So, that's quite interesting. Fine. Macam ada banyak harapan pada Infinity. But I think Infinity, they don't just kena tukar. Dia orang punya, dia orang punya uh, place, dia orang punya, dia orang kena versatile with their tacticals lah. Kalau dia orang boleh versatile dengan dia punya tactical, firepower dia orang memang dah paling tak ada ubat. For me, the most tak ada ubat individual skill memang Infinity. Just that dia orang kena adaptable dengan tactical dia orang macam. Kalau dia orang boleh, then I think easily dia orang boleh betul-betul top. Fakulari, thank you for the share by the way. Semangkit berapa kill eh? Karim Najwan, I think like macam 15 plus ke apa? Something like that. Semangkit ada keluar grafik pula kan? 15 plus ke apa? Papa Muaz, Infinity kau kau hari ni. Kau kau, I know, I will. I will be. I will be. I will be like, you serious bruh. Are you serious? You you plan this kan, Infinity? You see this, bruh. Kau oh, tak kas ke PMPLC? Ada kas, Rasmi? Eru Zimbi, thank you jadi follower baru. Okay, okay. But uh, in case, in case kalau ada orang tak tahu like why, like Papa Muas tengok English stream and Aisyah tengok English stream. Yeah. In case kalau ada yang tak tahu kenapa kita so about Infinity and Chomburi lah kan, it's because of this. So, let me just take a moment untuk uh, pull out this video sekejap. Yeah, let me Just take this moment. Aku dah upload juga dekat YouTube by the way. So, korang-korang semua pun boleh tengok lah. So, I did a quick simple editing lah kan. It's a fairly simple editing uh, for this video. Yeah, so korang boleh follow aku juga dekat uh, YouTube. Yeah, actually it's guna dekat the same. Ataupun kalau korang nak search, korang boleh research yang ni. Yeah, yang ni. Nah, yeah, this one. Sama je. Yeah. So, so, so I, I did a quick edit lah. So ni is lepas balik daripada ni daripada PMPL and then I did a quick edit sampai pukul tujuh pagi. So uh, it's not that fancy lah kan. But I think it it shows the point lah kan. Hari ni ada PMPL si ke Izon Shah ada? But in case siapa siapa yang macam tak tahu, oh why are we talking about Infinity dengan ni lah kan? Apakah challenge dia? So okay, the TLDR dia adalah. Uh, So aku ada buat challenge dengan cucu, kita dah pre-bincang selepas hari yang pertama Ya, kita akan buat the challenge of like Okay, sebab dia punya talent prediction is Chonburi, aku punya talent prediction is Infinity So kita dah pre-cakap lepas hari yang pertama, kita cakap okay Hari yang kedua, siapa punya tip ada dekat bawah Orang tu akan kena denda So denda dia adalah conteh muka Mansel, thank you for the share, Mansel dah So, ini adalah perjalanan hari ni lah, so let's play it for everyone 5 minit je video ni. Okay, so basically aku klipkan the moment-moment yang kita borak pasal benda tu and also aku klipkan the 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 standing lah antara Infinity dengan uh, dengan ni, dengan Chomburi. Yeah, so aku start dengan the standings. Aku tak buat benda-benda fancy lah sebab it's nanti pukul 7 pagi. Alright, so we're gonna make this official now. So we're going to tell our audience, and this is going to be our thing, our challenge now. Okay, so we're going to make this official. Yep. Now, yesterday you took MS Chomburi, the yep. Chomburis. Yeah. Okay, and I took the Infinity. All right, so at the end of the day, whoever tops, or, 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 or I would say whoever is below the other team, between, between MS Chomburi and, and Infinity, Infinity will consider will will lose so yes. the challenge is that whoever loses this challenge mm -hmm. will face how should i put it tomorrow there will be a segment what, what do you call it okay tomorrow there will be a 
Okay, uh, yeah, I'm trying to reword this a little bit. So tomorrow there will be a punishment. Yeah, that's the right word. Tomorrow there will be a punishment <laughs> whereby the person who loses will be drawn, will get his face drawn. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. With a lipstick. So that is, yeah. Only. Yes. So, uh, only? Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, I'll, do, I'll do that because I know I'm going to win, so it's fine. We'll wait and see because yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, Infinity also had a bit of a tough luck because they got himself. I think two or three games, not really like straight, but they kind of lost entirely two or three matches or rounds that didn't get them any elimination points or any position points as well. So, um, and then Infinity di ka atas Chomburi. Later on, which gonna be back to here right now. Yeah. Match number three. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, and of course between the both of us. So now the Infinity. I'm I'm Chichu. Oh, oh, okay. He, he is Santa Claus. Okay. He is going for Infinity. Yes. I am the MS. MS. Chomburi. Yeah. Chomburi. So yeah. they're still very close, but of it's course, too close. I'll, I'll take credit, right? Because uh, <sighs> still, Infinity is still above Chomburi. Yes. And tomorrow I'm going to hold the lipstick. Yes, we're going to do it. <laughs> so, so wrong. I'm going to hold the lipstick. Yes. <laughs> for men to say that, you have to question yourself. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I do. I question myself, I what am my I going to... Sometimes I do, I question myself, what am I going to draw? Oh. It's going to be your own face later on, but... You guys actually watching at home, do predict who will get the chicken in the next, because it's going to be really unpredictable. So go, and unfortunately also unpredictable. Like, just to recap... And then, lepas tu... Uh... Uh, Chomburi atas Infinity pula. the last game and Infinity is going to do the comeback. Mark my words. Are you mm. ready? Can you smell when the cloud is losing? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow. really did. did you smell that? Smells of defeat. Nah, 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 smell it. Nah, nah, Take nah, it in. Nah, nah, Take nah, it in. Nah, nah, nah. You're losing. You're a loser. Oh. Oh, <laughs> this is where we start to, you know, because Ooh. down to the final match of the okay. day, we definitely know that it's a wrangle. Amos Chomburi never feels a wrangle, right? Well, for the record, uh, Infinity got a ticket today in a wrangle before. So that's for the record. That was luck. Oh, so, <laughs> so now we're playing luck. Now we're playing luck. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. We'll see, we'll see, we'll yeah, see. We'll Somebody's see. on the edge of his seat, but let yeah. him sweat there for a bit. But I can yeah. feel the lipstick in my hand, you know. <laughs> Imagine if both of our teams are actually going down first. Hopefully we didn't jinx any of them. Hopefully everything is going well for every single team. As, uh, as team if you think about the Pharaoh Worlds, it's going to be Infinity. Hey, wait, we have, do have Infinity and beyond. Speaking of which, the Infinity going to infinitely staying at the bottom of Chumburi for now, I guess. I let's think calculate the overall points. Again, let's not count. Let's not count our chickens before they hatch. Yep, yep, I'm still hopeful. I'm still hopeful. So, which still... one first, the eggs or the chicken? The chef. <laughs> the chef. There you go. <laughs> the chef. So, everybody's hungry right now. We cannot wait to see the overall ranking, but we will actually give a lot of data when it comes to the end of the day. So, we need to cover us like who got the most elimination of in terms of numbers or the grenades, even asking for forgiveness and what. And then Sah yang uh, Chomburi di ke atas. Cloud, so. I can't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. tomorrow. I love ya. Tomorrow. You do? I love tomorrow. Oh, okay, fine, fine, <laughs> fine. Okay, well, okay, I shall, I shall, I shall, I shall accept my punishment. Yeah, definitely, you have fine. to. You can't run away anymore. Yeah, so you guys it. are gonna see something interesting on our clouds. He's gonna change his appearance tomorrow, but I think that's it for us today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there he is. There goes. <laughs> so it's, it's just done for today. Done. Thank you guys for being with us the entire day. We have more action pack coming up for you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, same time, same place. So that's it. Uh, Cloud is done and dusted. We're gonna see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Say bye bye. Good night. Oh yeah, so that that is that is the well, partly the context. So, siapa-siapa yang macam 
macam follow the story lah lah kan. So basically that was it lah kan. That was the that was the challenge that kita set. Just because it, they're inspired by ah the talent prediction like and actually the talent prediction too we didn't discuss like like I pick mine they pick dia so we didn't discuss like oh ni ni lah semua lah kan so by the time benda tu keluar macam oh so you pick something else I pick something else so we make this a challenge so benda tu macam spontan ah uh, alkisanya lah kan eh Rashmi Infinity Fire Power terlalu kuat one v three sangat susah juga yeah one v three Fire Power dia orang memang tak ada ubah yang Nuzi tu lah tu utamanya itu yang cakap tadi kalau katakan kalau kalau uh, katakan kalau yeah let me just lagu lobby back katakan kalau uh, kalau dia ada tactical yang perfect yang yang good execution cantik semua lah kan in terms of tactical fire power dia orang dah memang terlalu kuat so nuzi mungkin boleh jadi terminator apa yang menghalang nuzi dari dari jadi terminator is dia orang punya own tactics je lah yang dia orang to me is dia orang gagal untuk adapt adaptasi lah but I'll give them one more day hari ni kalau hari ni dia orang boleh come back okay fine tapi kalau hari ni pun macam ni juga next week my talent prediction akan tukar Yeah, tu kepada siapa nantilah kita tengok. Tapi mencari Reda Ilahi. Wow, nama. 204 hari dah follow. Terima kasih. Dah Faiz Lani, thank you for notify. Team Malaysia Kau Kau hari ini One Piece. Ah, uh, uh, mungkin boleh. Cuma cabaran dia adalah uh, konsep yang sama lah kan macam kita selalu cakap pasal. Oh, team-team dekat atas akan selalu dikaji akan diberi perhatian lebih. So, sekarang ni team Malaysia generally lah kan macam semua lah kan. Semuanya dekat atas-atas lah kan. Uh, dia orang uh, perform dengan baik on day 2. So, ada day 3. So, ada kebarang kalian yang dia orang akan diperhalusi lagi atau diberikan lebih banyak perhatian. So, benda tu uh, boleh jadi bahaya uh, tapi uh, you want to be the best lah kan. Kau nak jadi the best kau kena berserta, kau kena adaptable lah kan. So, let's see macam mana dia orang uh, adapt lagi untuk hari ni pula ha. Itulah dia So Kalau mereka boleh adapt Then it's going to be good They can go all the way Tapi kalau Ni lah kan Then susah sikit But uh, Cabaran hari ni Semestinya adalah Orang ramai akan tengok Team, team Malaysia uh, Mungkin sama benda dengan Apa yang berlaku untuk BTR juga Yang BTR first game Mereka kau-kau Third place top Top elimination Lepas tu 13 13 kosong kat sini lah kan 13 kosong 10-3 lah eh 3-2 is uh, for third place 2, 2 elimination je macam uh, sikit uh, lepas tu 14 kosong so it could be benda-benda macam tu juga so BTS semalam dia orang padu lah kan and team Indonesia yang padu for day 2 juga uh, day 1 uh, day 1 Muhammad Iza take it for 301 hari Dana Aiman pun dah for 86 hari Uh, kuat sikit uh, Rizal Rosi. Uh, tadi tu yang paling kuat dah. Tapi kalau kalau korang nak tengok lah kan. Korang boleh tengok dekat YouTube. Uh, Instagram, Insta TV pun ada letak. Dengan dekat page dia pun boleh tengok balik. So, yeah. So, uh, but that was yang paling kuat dah. Tadi dah letak dah. PGC slot dia pilih Grand Final je ke Pak Rai? Yes. Empat top four daripada Grand Final sahaja. Yang akan dipilih untuk PMGC. Why so serious? Apa denda? Uh, the denda is dah kena conteng muka live hari ni lah. So, Hmm. Ya, yeah, kena get ready lah tu. Kena chat kena 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 chat kena chatting ah uh, kena chatting muka live lah kan. Macam tu. Ni kalau kena custom versi bahasa Malaysia empat lasa sembang kau kau semangat patriotik dan tinggi izat. Ah uh, the thing about bila kita cast English stream lah kan, kita tak boleh kita tak boleh terlalu kita tak boleh kita tak boleh bias. That's the thing. Um kalau cast PM stream then yeah you can You can wiggle a little bit lah kan benda tu. Tapi kalau cast English team, kita tak boleh. Because kita punya audience is merata-rata. Ah, So kita ada fans daripada South Asia punya fans juga yang tengok. Aku ada tengok chat juga lah kan. South Asia punya fans. Ada juga Indonesian fans. Ada juga Philippine fans. Cambodian fans. Semua-semua Thailand fans pun ada tengok juga dekat English team. So that's why kita tak boleh terlalu bias. So um, walaupun kita seronok, kita tengok macam oh seronok tengok macam Oh, team Malaysia do well, dapat chicken dinner, double chicken dinner, all that lah kan. Tapi kita tak boleh, kita tak boleh terlalu, yeah, Malaysia boleh and all that lah. Kita tak boleh. Kita kena, kita kena ada the balancing. So, that's why kita kena cakap, oh, kita kena, kita kena be able to talk about like, oh, Thai teams macam mana. Kita kena be able to talk about uh, Cambodian teams, Vietnamese teams macam mana. And all that. Kita kena ada really that, that, that balance, kan. 
kita kena memang kita memang kena ada that balance so that's why macam uh, for that's why bagi aku so that's why aku buat this kind of study aku buat live dengan korang kita study kita borak pasal benda ni because I I need to know like region lain juga apa dia orang punya performance uh, macam DX how were they kan um, macam uh, Thailand teams how were they so that's why on top of aku so bila sebab tu aku buat study then on top of head bila aku kelas aku boleh cakap okay Uh, this team is juara liga. This team is team PMNC. This team is blah 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 and all that. All those fakta fakta menarik. And it's not only about team Malaysia. It's about negara lain juga. Because we need that. Uh, lagi lagi diperlukan disebabkan kita English stream. Sebab orang negara lain akan tengok. So kita tak boleh bayar. So yeah. So so that's why kalau korang tengok English stream kita kena. Walaupun uh, team Malaysia dapat double chicken or that kita kita kena control sikit lah. Um, kalau tak nanti, oh, I got a bias caster and all that lah kan. So, yeah. So, so that's the the professionalism yang kita kena kita kena maintain juga. Torak dengan SMG ke M3, Daniel. Oh, Torak menang eh? Oh, menang lawan Orange eh? Oh, I see. So, congratulations Torak. Hmm. Pasti boleh minta ikut Tor belanja makan. Tiba. Tapi SMG sebab diorang dapat upper bracket kan? Uh, so, congrats kepada diorang dapat pergi M3. Hujung tahun ni dekat Singapura, if I'm not mistaken. Aku dengar dekat Singapura lah, hujung, hujung tahun ni. Papa was hara-hara consistency maintain. Ya ni consistency yang bagus. Ya yeah, not the not the one that you said yesterday lah kan. The one that you said yesterday is the negative consistency. Yeah, that's the one that the one kan. Ah. Uh, yes atau four rivals speed down. So dia dia minat yes atau four four rivals lah kan. Okay, so far so good untuk dia dia orang ni. Ah uh, and aku rasa cabaran besar lagi untuk four rivals lah because dia orang hanya main dengan empat orang saja. TS walaupun Fredo cuti kahwin tapi apa-apa worst case scenario dia orang still Y2K boleh main. Eh Y2K memang boleh main memang dia adalah pro player. Kan? So tapi for rivals mati-mati pun dia orang tak boleh letak Pasha sebab Pasha tak daftar. <laughs> so dia orang daftar empat orang ni je. So whatever happens, dia orang banyak risk tau. Kau kan kopi bayangkanlah kan for rivals ni. Aku kena highlight sikit lah kan. Dia orang punya risk dia tinggi. Risk tak ada dengan dia orang. So uh, one is uh, pendekatan lah kan physical contact and all that. Satu lagi adalah katakan kalau ada internet issue. Kalau kalau lah kalau ada internet issue dekat gaming house empat-empat kena senang nak movekan empat orang pergi pergi somewhere else or ataupun senang nak justify dengan pihak berkuasa untuk minta like I don't know maybe some sort of discussion ke uh, whatever lah kan. Tapi Rif ada dekat Sabah. Rif ada lagi dekat Sabah guys. So katakan kalau internet tu problem dekat Rif satu orang You want to justify dengan organizer susah sebab satu orang je problem. Susah nak justify. So nak relocate kan Rif tu, manager dah lah semua dekat Semenanjung and all that lah kan. Manalah, nak, manalah tahu where to relocate kan Rif ke kalau ada masalah internet all that. So diorang memang, diorang memang trading on the thin line. I think that's the kata pepatah dalam bahasa Inggeris. Uh, diorang betul-betul macam telur di hujung tanduk lah. Uh, yeah, that is the BM version telur di hujung tanduk di mana anything can happen dekat dia orang dia orang ada risiko yang sangat-sangat tinggi but so far so good untuk dia orang mental dia orang nampak kuat daripada start dengan 10-3 16-1 11-2 and then dia orang boleh dapat chicken so I will for rivals to me kan memang mental commando seriously after all they've been through daripada musim-musim sebelum especially daripada musim uh, 3 onwards after all they've been through dia orang masih lagi ada dekat atas Seriously, ni adalah team mental commando. Seriously. Dan aku sangat-sangat respect, aku sangat salut kepada orang punya mental strength. Sangat-sangat kuat. Dan uh, aku kena bagi juga kredit kepada coach, kepada manager orang Joker, Pasha dan juga Joker lah kan. I'm sure dia orang pun ada penglibatan yang uh, besar untuk membantu dia orang dalam kekuatan mental dia orang. So, Four Rivals memang is a team yang memang kena bagi tabik string tonton untuk dia orang lah. It's very, very good. Very, very strong. One Room, thank you for the share, One Room. Yeah, it's very, very good, very, very strong, and um, yeah, I mean, they are they are a team yang bagi aku has arguably lah kan, the strongest mental commando of all, arguably, arguably. Walaupun TS consistent, tapi TS punya cabaran tak sebesar for rivals. Guys, TS ada backup player, dia orang play semua kat sini, and all that. for rivals is all that, uh, plus perubahan management baru, Uh, plus uh, player pun keluar last minute uh, and then plus 
season 3 punya benda eh, the, and then they're still strong so memang metal commando lah for me for four rivals memang uh, kena bagi pujian lah okay, I have to give it to them lah benda ni kena no mouse tak punch it wireless mouse tak punch it okay, tapi tak apalah dan sebab ada backup Faiz Tani, thank you dah follow 530 hari. Daniel Aiman juga, thank you for notify. Papa Muas, tim-tim international akan tengok English version sebab empat tim kat PMGC ada main dalam C. Four teams so PMGC ada main dalam C. Yeah, I, I mean they, they could watch. They could watch... Uh, dorang, uh, it depends lah kan. They could watch dorang punya own country punya language. But I notice macam banyak South Asia punya viewers tengok. I notice some Thailand, some Indonesian, some Philippines and all that lah kan. Tapi a lot of South Asian yang tengok. That's what I notice lah. Um, so yeah, I mean, kita tak ada Hindi stream lah kan. So of course, they want to tengok kita je lah. So yeah, so so which is also kind of kind of kind of cool lah kan. So kalau kita fikir about that lah kan. Out of all the countries dekat Southeast Asia yang diorang boleh pilih, diorang pilih Malaysia untuk host the English stream. So, uh, it just shows that it's a recognition daripada pihak berkuasa ya. Mereka recognize bakat. Bakat dekat Malaysia lah. Talent dekat Malaysia lah. I'm not saying me lah. Kan? I mean, it's also kontra yang akan terlibat minggu depan. Kontra dengan Kid pun terlibat juga minggu depan. Of course, uh, Tash versus Sis Jenny pun akan terlibat juga. Oh yeah, by the way, Sis Jenny, Singapore. So, Malaysia, Singapore region uh, recognized by uh, pihak berkuasa as Okay, you guys can represent the English stream which is the voice of Southeast Asia. So, I think it's I think it's a big recognition like and if you ask me benda tu. Um and and I know that oh yeah, because aku pun ada keep in touch dengan caster uh caster uh Europe dekat Europe juga. Uh and aku tahu dia orang pun tengok English stream kita juga. All the way from Europe pun tengok kita juga. Ah uh, pun ada juga. So, I mean it's satu benda yang uh, satu benda yang membanggakan lah kan for for talents dekat Malaysia Singapore punya region yang kita recognised by by pihak berkuasa lah kan to to represent the English stream. Uh, tak le over proud Daniel Ahmad. Oh tak le over confident lah kan untuk tim Malaysia. Ya tak boleh. Ini baru hari yang kedua. But of course kita kita celebrate the small wins lah kan kita gembira. Dah habis ke soalan from IG Papa Mas? Ya dah habis dah. So that was all. So now I'm just reading the comments lah. Why so serious? English cast more peaceful than BM cast. Malam layan YouTube ka English cast. Oh really? Oh uh, thank you for layan kita orang. Uh, I would I wouldn't say it's okay. I, I, I guess I guess English viewers are more steady. If you know what I mean, like kan? mungkin kurang bocah. Uh, but it's not it's not hundred percent clean juga. Like ada juga lah toxic dekat dekat English stream. But uh, if you make a comparison dengan Dengan the, the the BM stream, I think it's it's quite it's quite ketara lah kan toxic dia. Uh, but English ada juga toxic dia, which is I I don't care pun. Like for me, it's like um, I just do my thing lah kan. But I I I, I read the comments juga. But by now, like being someone that cast like this, my fourth season dalam pro league lah kan. I think that's that. It, 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 kalau comments in the stream lah kan, there, there is nothing that 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 really can hurt me dah at this point. <laughs> it's like oh, tengok je, it's like oh, okay. That's like that. Tak ada feeling dah. It's like ah, it, it's normal. Benda ni dah biasa dah. Toxic, toxic itu biasa. So the the best way for for me lah kan, from my perspective is like kita jangan layan toxic. Toxic ada sebab kita layan toxic je. Tapi kalau kita tak layan toxic tu, toxic akan rasa macam oh, tak ada orang layan aku then benda tu akan hilang so tak ada orang layan as simple as that so macam aku pun tengok-tengok tapi aku tak layan aku tak respon pun pada benda-benda macam tu you will notice that aku bukan jenis respon pun uh, on benda-benda macam tu so because it's normally it's not perhatian je tapi you don't give them perhatian then then they won't they won't they won't do it anymore lah it's as simple as that lah kan oh uh, Fik Amirul Muhammad oh thank you wow 145 star harap harap gaya sampai minggu ketiga Harap gayat, eh janganlah minta tim Malaysia gayat guys. Uh, tapi thank you 145 star. Alamak, tiba-tiba aku punya mouse tak function macam licin sikit. Tapi thank you 145 star. Uh, terima kasih. Terima kasih. Semoga dibuatkan rezeki Fik Amirul Muhammad dan semoga setiasa ceria selalu. Thank you so much. Dengan sokongan daripada korang-korang semua ni lah kan yang sudi datang tu tengok live stream ni apa benda semua lah kan. Um, ni akan uh, membolehkan aku untuk ni lah. Uh, 
buat uh, lebih banyak uh, buat borak session ni in the future. Yeah, and and I and I kind of prefer this a little bit more juga. Yeah, just that kalau kalau kita boleh ada lebih banyak viewer is better because aku kind of struggle dengan viewership. Bakal kena buang ni kalau kalau viewership tak tak mencapai tahap ke, kepuasan pihak berkuasa. Yeah, aku bakal kena pecat guys. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Uh, let's see. Uh, dua mata Malaysia kat PMPLC. Uh, yeah, if you kind of think about it, like kan? yes, of course, logo mata. It was a four rivals pun logo mata ish. Yeah, so yeah, dua mata di atas sekarang ni. Why face race struggle to get kill point? You got be. Um, I think lah kan. I I'll just break it down untuk face lah kan. And this theory personal lah kan. By personal theory, I think that face the orang mental blockage sekarang ni. The orang mental blockage as in like the orang dah macam give up. The orang dah macam ah, kita go next je lah. You know that sort of feeling. Kita go next je lah. So I think this is this is benda yang berlaku ni. Kita go next lah. Kita orang macam Yeah, whatever lah kan. Kita go next je lah. So, uh, I think it's just that lah. Because, semuanya ada, ada, dia punya masalah dia lah kan. Macam tactically pun dia orang pun ada issue. And then, uh, mungkin mental strength pun dia orang tak kuat. Mungkin support system dia orang, coach dia orang, pun manager dia orang pun tak cukup strong untuk tolong dia orang. I don't know. There's a lot of benda-benda macam tu lah kan. But, all and all, I think right now, it is mental strength dia orang lemah. Dia orang tak kuat daripada segi mental dia orang and then itu meletakkan dia orang dekat bawah. Papa Muaz, South Asia pun dah habis tenma rahsia yang tinggal South Asia PMPR dengan Mena next. I see. Maybe that's why dia orang free untuk tengok kita punya show lah kan. But okay lah. I mean, I mean, I know that there are some loyal viewers daripada season 1 macam Lala Umpah Yapa Chow uh, from, from India. Dia pun tengok and he's a very nice guy. He's a doctor there. And semalam dia sakit but uh, I, I didn't manage to see the comments, I saw the comments post. So semalam dia kata dia tak sehat. So I wish him well wishes. Hopefully dia boleh uh, dia sembuh dengan cepat. Izzat gotta go back to Munah live stream for room PM, PMC. Okay enjoy Izzat. See you. Kenapa juara Liga tak dapat slot PMGC? Uh, ni jajaz. Itu dah ketentuan pihak berkuasa. So uh, macam tu je lah. Rasanya soalan pasal BN from you in IG. Tapi tak takpelah. So talk some BN. Bukan tak, bukan tak yang pendapat. Boleh menampi hari ini. Tidak. All lain semua dah tu. Oh really? That, because that's all that I got. So I don't know where that went. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not sure. Tapi uh, thoughts on BN. Eh? Hmm. Let me think. Fikir sekejap lah. Eh? So BN United. Um... You know what? You know what? BN, BN lah. Like, I feel like quite the quite the wild card still. Tapi I think what is BN punya strength adalah adalah uh, adalah rotations. At least from what I see lah, kan? I don't really have big thoughts about BN tau because it's like okay, it's like when you if you ask me like oh um, describe BN BN United punya punya gameplay. Ah, um, they all tak ada macam stand out punya like like big big boom stand out gameplay lah, kan? It's like don't talk about that that big highlight moment, but uh, what they can do is that I think they are good in in rotation. So, kalau kita tengok in theory lah kan, ah uh, tujuh, ah uh, lapan tiga tujuh satu, and then tiga empat. This is one of the signs. Satu tiga. Okay, this is the boom one, and then ah uh, this quite boom dua sepuluh. Ada kita ada lima tiga tujuh satu. So rotation wise, they are quite quite okay. Um. So I guess it's about, it's about, hmm. it's, it's very hard to tell like at the end. So I don't, I don't really have like, like, like a strong thought about BM like, like oh, oh, what, what, what's the best that I'm on? Macam kalau kata macam, oh, Infinity, you can tell, oh, Nuzi is quiet and then individual skill and quiet is just that they're technically weak like that. Tapi BN is like, what, what are they good at there? I, I, I can't break it down now, BN. Maybe because it's also like don't buy up and down juga, so it makes me like I I can't really pinpoint apa tetapi and what do you guys think? Apa kau rasa pasal BN, BN United? Kenapa Filipina tak join PMPL Habib Aklan? By the way, thank you for the share Habib Aklan. Um, I think because it's mudah je uh, penjelasannya is uh, popularity dekat negara tu. Uh, 
ketentuan bagi aku lah kalau pihak berkuasa lah kan ketentuan untuk sama ada ada PMPL dengan negara tu ataupun tidak adalah berdasarkan dengan populariti dan fan base dan juga viewership base juga lah. Aku bagi contoh lah kan uh, tak guna kita buat uh, PMPL dekat let's say Hong Kong contohnya. So PUBG Mobile dekat situ tak popular. Uh, kalau buat tournament dekat situ pun viewership tak banyak, team mungkin tak banyak join. So Philippines I think is the same. Philippines aku rasa ada team. Um, so dia orang ada main wild card. By the way Philippines ada main wild card by the way. Uh, tapi dia orang tak lepas. So but I think a wild card is like oh, kau macam ada team tapi kau tak tak mungkin tak cukup fan base ni. I'm sure berdasarkan dengan research dia orang lah kan. Untuk ada PMPL is is very costly. So production lah, benda semua lah kan. Uh, marketing lah semua bentuk. So untuk justify the ROI, dia kena ada viewership. So mungkin pihak berkuasa dah cakap macam, oh okay, fan base PUBG Mobile dekat Philippines tak besar. Dia orang lebih kepada mobile. Dia orang lebih kepada Mobile Legends, Wild Rift, uh, Dota. Uh, dia orang lebih kepada game-game macam tu. Ataupun CODM. CODM dia orang strong. So, untuk PUBG Mobile, dia orang mungkin dah buat market research dan kata, okay, PUBG Mobile kat situ tak strong, so tak worth untuk kita buat PMPL just for Philippines. Tapi dia ada Filipino team yang uh, yang mungkin cukup banyak. So, okey lah, selit masuk wakat. Mainlah wakat dulu. Sampai dia orang grow dia punya scene. Kalau dia punya scene dah grow, dah cukup besar, then maybe akan ada PMPL sendiri. Ataupun mungkin gabung dengan negara lain. Aku tak sure. Mungkin macam PMPL MYSG Philippines, I don't know. Something like that lah kan. Tapi untuk ada PMPL sendiri, kau kena ada like, like the fan base tu memang kena strong. Lah. Ya, yeah, it memang based on that lah juga. RQ Indo, dua... Sekejap ayat mana tu? Komen tu bergerak pula. Amat, eh, tiba-tiba hilang pula. RQ Indo punya komen tu. Tadi aku macam nampak lepas tu hilang. Dia macam delete kot. Uh, Yoko, Yoko, Yoko. Berapa stop PMGC yang dia orang ambil... Uh, and dia orang ambil dekat Liga ke atau Grand Final? Uh, tak apa, boleh tanya je. Kat sini memang platform untuk tanya. Um, stop PMGC empat. Uh, semuanya dekat Grand Final. Liga tak ada stop PMGC. Ya, yeah, semua dekat situ. So, Liga ni hanya untuk dapat uh, kejuaraan Liga, prize money and benda-benda macam tu je lah. Tapi kalau PMGC punya slot tu, hanya dekat Grand Final sahaja. Ima Ima, slot PMGC first dari Liga dengan tiga slot dari Grand Final kan? Tidak. Empat semuanya daripada Grand Final. Liga tiada slot PMGC Ima Ima. Berdasarkan Nasional. Selama je dia ni amal. Dan sebab tak ada pas ke DAP masuk kan? Nanti... Kalau DAP masuk, nanti semua orang salahkan DAP. Dan, tak pasal-pasal. Tiba lah kan. Okay, no politik tau here. Tapi apapun, uh, Imam Iman dan juga Ikram Syamsu, thank you jadi follower yang baru. Um, Papa Muaz, uh, BN kau-kau under the radar. Serah-serah banyak kill dah ada dekat seke-seke akhir. Yeah, I can see why you ask me this question. Because, um, because I, it, it's hard to describe them like and and I, I I can see why this is up for debates like that. and frankly speaking I have no idea how to how to describe the player play style so, tak boleh nak pinpoint dia orang ni kuat kuat tactical ke kuat firepower ke kuat apa ke kan I can't really tell tak boleh tak boleh nak tahu tak susah nak bagi tahu macam GD macam GD pun aku boleh bagi tahu GD is like low confident punya team kau tengoklah dekat Mirama tu nampak kaca susu dekat belakang pun tak tembak pun tak tembak langsung. So, dia punya confident level low sangat-sangat untuk take those shot. <laughs> See, kita boleh describe benda-benda ni lah kan. Tapi BN I cannot describe. So, it's... BN ni unique lah. Really. Uh, Fahmi Asnawi, BN weekday hari tu main agresif, push team macam main klasik. Tapi super weekend ni uh, tak show gameplay. So, tu focus on team Malaysia. Yeah, because dia orang... Dia orang... Uh, BN pun I think macam dia orang... Dora lah, like, you know, you know, it's like I I don't know how to describe real gameplay lah. Like, oh, macam oh weekday macam agresif lah, tapi super weekend ni dah macam chill chill. So sebenarnya apa dia orang ni lah kan? Uh, so uh, I I don't really know how to how to describe PM. Then I must see banyak mobile kan? Yes, uh, Southeast Asia tak boleh dinafikan, tak boleh dinafikan adalah mobile first punya region. Maksudnya adalah mobile dulu punya region. Apa-apa pun adalah game mobile akan up dulu. Tapi kalau dekat, let's say, Europe, ah, then PC dulu. Kita punya region memang mobile dulu. So, that's why... Uh, that's, why uh, that's why mobile game memang 
Memang number one dekat sini lah kan Dan aku setiap ada kawan-kawan Like uh, like, 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 like Or PC master race Yang macam Tak boleh terima yang Mobile is a thing Dekat Southeast Asia Tapi ini adalah peredaran zaman lah kan Kita kena Kita kena terima benda ni This is the market demand kita, This is the market demand and trend Okay lah kalau ada orang tak nak tak nak terima and they want treat it as a hobby, treat it as a interest, okay lah fine. Tapi kita yang bekerja dalam industri, uh, aku pun ada dah kita lah kan, atau siapa siapa yang bekerja dalam industri e-sports gaming ni lah kan, you have to accept yang Southeast Asia adalah mobile first market. Tak dinafikan, have to accept. Tanya lah macam-macam organisasi di kalau luar sana pula kan. Uh, semua pun akan kata is a mobile first region so like it or not memang like it or not whether kau pro PC ke pro uh, pro 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 PC ke pro pro console ke whichever lah kan mobile is still a thing here yes there are strong community in certain sub community there are certain strong sub community macam FIFA ada strong sub community Uh, mungkin Warif ada sub community uh, Warif is a mobile okay. uh, Macam Dota ada sub community dia Valorant mungkin ada sub community dia But You cannot beat the numbers And the potential numbers The potential revenue ke Potential ROI ke Yang datang daripada mobile Dekat Southeast Asia ni Memang Memang tak boleh nafikan uh, Ray Iris uh, Thank you dah follow selama 406 hari Terbaik Wow Banyak 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 hari dah follow Give fam kau-kau Kambil dia ni Aiman uh, Itulah dia Diorang Pengumpul poin yang terbanyak Antara semua Dekat ni uh, Yoko Yoko Setuju tak Kalau cakap TS main Tak ada pressure Sebab orang dah ada Setelah untuk PMGC Diorang main C Untuk try benda baru Or just ambil ilmu Dari C berbanding Team yang nak slot PMGC um, I don't know I'm 50-50 on yang tu Yoko Yoko 50-50 I think I think yang I think yang uh, TS dia akan main Bersungguh-sungguh Because Nak julang piara pi, Piala Piara Piala C Because Seingat uh, Seingat Ya yeah, Seingat aku is TS tak pernah pegang Piala C So I'm sure Diorang nak benda tu So I think Diorang main Bersungguh-sungguh Ini adalah bersungguh-sungguh Daripada TS Aku tak dapat Diorang main Sambil lewat Tak ada Not not uh, For me personally Tak dapat Diorang main sambil lewat For me personally Diorang main dengan Sabis 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 baik lah sekarang Alih-alih kata TS kuat sebab kit ya tak dinafikan ya. Yeah. So gerak lu Tia nak start match. Okay Fami, see you. Uh, so uh, Papa Muas, dia still anggap mobile equal snake and Tetris only. Tapi dia lupa PC ada my sweeper. Well that's a good point. That's a good point. Ada solitaire juga. That's a good point. I prefer, yeah, my sweeper. Like you tekan the dua, the mouse, mouse one dengan mouse two together lah kan. Yeah, just like I, until now, I never, I never, I don't really know how my super works sebenarnya. <laughs> until now, I really don't know how my super works. Oh, Muhammad Salki, thank you, 30 star. Oh, by the way, unding-unding, thank you, jadi follower baru. Dan Muhammad Muhaimin Zulkifli juga, thank you. Jadi follower baru juga. Uh, lepas C, ada lagi tak tournament besar lepas tu? Sukses selalu. Thank you, Muhammad Salki, untuk 30 star. Ada. Lepas C dan PMGC lah. Tapi ada PMCC. Selepas C, PMCC sekejap. Lepas tu PMGC. Ha. So PMGC dijangka dalam pukul, uh, bulan 12 macam tu. So antara bulan 11 dengan bulan 12 in between lah is PMCC. Itu adalah perjangkaan. Uh, alih-alih, Tencent tak hapus lagi ke UC. Uh, UC tu tak bersalah alih-alih. Uh, UC tu tak bersalah. Aku tahu apa yang alih-alih dia... Dia mungkin uh, concern lah kan. UC tu tak bersalah. Bagi aku, uh, and I think benda ni kita dah banyak bincangkan dah. Dan banyak orang pun dah bincangkan. Dia bukan UC tu yang bersalah. Dia dia adalah mekanik dia yang harus diper, uh, yang harus diper, uh, di, ditambah baik lah. Uh, UC tu sendiri tak bersalah. So, sebab tu tak hapus lagi UC. 10 saya ago, thank you dah follow 562 hari. Terima kasih. Dan Kucing Kero pun dah follow 551 hari. Thank you. TS main tak ada pressure sebab tu lah padu Akishir. Okay, kalau kalau Akishir rasa TS main uh, padu sebab tak ada pressure, then okay lah tu. I mean, pendapat masing-masing. Benda ni adalah subjektif. So, uh, that is my pendapat. So, kalau Akishir kata macam tu, okay lah. Okay je. Apa-apa muas, C ke PMGC pun tak jauh. Break less than a month. 
Yes. So what I heard lah kan. Okay, ini adalah disclaimer. Ini adalah kedengaran ura-ura dan juga burung-burung berkicauan lah kan. Berkaitan dengan PMGC. Tadi J main ML. Alif Alif. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Thank you for the fact. Uh, but... Uh, but... Uh, Okay, uh, ni adalah what I heard about PNGC lah kan, punya arrangement lah kan. So, PMGC ini dengar je lah kan, so tak sure, disclaimer. PMGC akan run somewhere dekat Southeast Asia. Kedengarannya adalah, tim-tim yang dekat Amerika ke South Asia ke, yang jauh-jauh lah, yang jauh-jauh, senang cerita, yang jauh-jauh, uh, yang jauh-jauh. Uh, akan dibawa ke Singapura dan uh, tim-tim dekat Southeast Asia ataupun yang nanti dia akan buat testing ke whatever lah kan but I think team, uh, this one I heard team dekat Southeast Asia akan stay dekat tempat masing-masing team that yang jauh daripada those America ke Europe ke kan uh, wherever lah Afrika ke mana-mana lah kan akan terbang ke Singapura mereka akan ada, dia orang akan ada dekat Singapura nak main dekat situ because server terlalu jauh tu dia orang main a global tournament um, so this is what I heard ataupun what I think will happen and it makes sense juga dia orang kena ada satu hub yang dekat so kalau tak server terlalu jauh ping terlalu tinggi sebab tu Dubai tu wujud so but I heard is that it's going to be 50-50 siapa yang jauh akan datang Singapura siapa yang dekat dengan Singapura Indonesia ke Thailand ke eh, yang seran yang yang ni ni semua ni semua akan duduk dekat tempat lain masing-masing. Kiranya orang minimize the the need lah kan untuk ada dekat Singapore. So that is what I heard. Jadi kita tu I don't know. So we we wait and see. Tapi that is the ura-ura dia macam tu lah. Ah uh, thanks I go. Terima kasih kepada tim Liga Malaysia kerana memberi saingan sengit kepada keempat tim Malaysia kita yang lolos ke slot PMPLC dan tak sisi juga mereka yang memberikan persembahan gameplay yang konsisten sehingga keempat tim Malaysia masuk page pertama hmm. ok, yeah, yang lolos ke slot PMPLC oh ok, so so ni, ni cerita pasal masa PMPL MYSG lah kan yeah. because of the persaingan yang baik dekat kita punya uh, Liga it, it pushes kita punya team lah yeah. so I agree yang dia ada dia ada efek yang 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 datang daripada uh, before this sampai lagi sekarang. So yeah, that's good. That's a good point. That's it. Like, uh, ago. Uh, Shabir Fauzi, thank you jadi follower yang baru. Siapa kasta Ali Alif? Uh, kasta Ali ni sama macam sebelum-sebelum ni. So English aku cucu lepas tu uh, analyst table is Tash and then BM adalah Kairol dekat analyst segment lepas tu uh, Sultan dengan Amy. Ya, yeah, sama je. Hans Hassan, uh, sebelum C bermula, tim negara lain macam tak hairan sangat dengan tim Malaysia. Lasa C dah mula, baru tahu keras macam mana. Yeah, I guess it's because of like season 3, kita punya pencapaian tak berapa nak sangat lah kan dekat C punya stage. So, kita dah ada, uh, so, so orang tak tengok kita sangat. And kita pun tengok orang lain macam especially Thailand lah kan and all that lah kan. So, yeah, I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing yang kita macam low profile and then bila perlu, inilah waktu yang kita tunjuk. Tapi liga panjang, so it's a liga. So kita kena kekal fokus dan kita kena ready untuk orang tu cuba nak counter kita. Why sih kenapa tak PMG sih macam 2020? Uh, Ali Alif. Tak faham, tak faham uh, soalan tu. Tapi kenapa sih, kenapa tak PMG sih macam 2020? Tak faham. Tak faham Ali-Ali. Mungkin boleh uh, memperbetulkan ayat tu balik. Malaysia dekat dengan Singapura ikut Johor. Uh, ya, yeah, Johor dengan Singapura memang sebelah-sebelah Ali-Ali. Uh, Tim Malaysia kuat-kuat season ni. Betul tak? Dia ada, ada kan? Kuat. Memang memang even before start. Even before start pun masa pre-show apa benda semua. Masa tu pun... Uh, masa tu pun... Um, my personal prediction adalah Tim Malaysia akan do well dekat C uh, ni. Dan... Memang so far so good lah untuk tim Malaysia. Memang akan do well this season. Uh, Daily Ice Pisa, thank you for the share. Uh, why so serious? PMGC nanti play online ke offline? Uh, tak tahu. 
Tapi kalau kalau betul yang dia relocate orang dekat Singapore and then yang lain-lain semua main dekat rumah sendiri, mungkin is still offline. Tapi mungkin final akan ada dekat grand final akan ada dekat a uh, a uh, a venue. I don't know yet. Benda benda ni memang susah nak tahu. Memang tak tahu lagi. So memang tak tahu lagi. But that is the ura-ura or the information yang aku yang aku dengar setakat ni lah. Papa Mas bagi KL boleh lepak pacucu, Nabi makan kat pacucu. Wow, kan? Tiba, kan? But, well, um, I, I, but I don't know. This all hurt only lah, kan? But one one thing about Singapore, they open advantage is apa tau? They run the whole Singapore Major, which is the Dota tournament yang besar, kan? Singapore Major. They run the host M2, bakal host M3. So, diorang dah ada portfolio as a country lah kan. Sebagai satu negara, Singapore dah ada portfolio host tiga e-sport event yang sangat-sangat besar. But, uh, coming soon ni pun, uh, Horizon Cup untuk Wild Rift pun diorang jadi host juga. So, it's empat. Empat e-sports. Uh, empat e-sports type. Empat e-sports title. PC dengan mobile semua. Empat e-sports Uh, tournament yang besar dia orang dah host so meaning that portfolio wise dia orang dah terbukti ada infrastruktur ada the right uh, political stability ada the right uh, perundangan ada SOP dia orang ada the, dia orang dah ada semua benda ni. untuk kata okey kita ada portfolio ni untuk host your event so bayangkanlah kan ini okey ini kita ceritakan okey let 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 let's talk about at the very very high level ni level yang sangat-sangat tinggi dia cerita pasal um okey Aku adalah Tencent. Aku nak pilih negara mana nak ni. Mungkin Dora approach a few negara lah kan. Cakap, okay, mungkin Philippines atau Sinda. Uh, mungkin Philippines, mungkin Indo, mungkin Malaysia, mungkin ni lah kan. And then don't buat market study. And bila don't buat market study, don't nak kata, oh, Singapore dah terbukti. Infrastruktur mungkin yang the, the best. And then don't ada portfolio for running those lah kan. Mungkin cost is a bit higher. So Singapore dollar lah kan. Tapi, um, tapi dia mungkin mungkin dia pun cakap okey kita pun ada budget so why not pay a bit more untuk untuk a piece of mind lah kan untuk kita tak payah nak risau pasal benda-benda yang macam oh nanti internet problem ke ataupun all that sebab Singapore dah terbukti dengan empat event yang besar dia orang dah pegang so uh, ataupun tiba-tiba oh government suka-suka tukar SOP ke benda-benda macam tu at least Singapore dah terbukti empat event ni dah menunjukkan dia orang ada stability perundangan ke SOP ke whatever lah kan so Automatically, no brainer. Singapore kan jadi pilihan. Of course, kepada Singapore juga, dia orang have, dia orang selagi dia orang boleh dia orang buat because apa? Because ini adalah tourism. Ah, ini adalah keuntungan tourism. Di mana keuntungan tourism is uh, boleh jadi quite big lah kan? Uh, dia orang bawa player masuk, player akan spend duit dalam negara and all that. So it's the economics of negara lah kan? Uh, keuntungan tourism. So of course, Singapore dia orang akan cakap, oh okay, so kita pun ada SOP, kita pun terbuki dan korang pun host, korang pun ikut SOP kita, korang pun bersetuju dengan SOP kita, mungkin double dose ke whatever lah kan. Then datang. Ah, then of course, it's it's a trade. So, diorang untung daripada segi uh, economic. So, that's why I think Singapore memang pegang for now. Memang pegang kuat for now. Memang pegang kuat for now. The only way kalau Malaysia nak pegang kuat balik is... Uh, is down to maybe uh, I don't know event organizer kita kena pitch kuat ke kan kena, kita kena menang a pitch somehow somehow kena menang a pitch dapat a portfolio and then kita roll from there tapi kita pun ada advantage kita juga kita cost lebih efektif cost kita lebih rendah berbanding dengan Singapore so it really depends mungkin ada yang ada game 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 owner uh, yang macam okay kita punya kita nak buat world tournament tapi kita punya budget kurang sikit so instead of go for Singapore boleh go for Malaysia so it really depends lah benda ni but for now uh, Singapore has the best portfolio zaman pandemic ni dalam e-sport the best portfolio really uh, server macam Asia Eropah gabung ke kat PMGC Danny Ayman uh, that's why diorang ter diorang ada Kedengaran orang plan untuk terbangkan orang ke Singapura Sebab orang akan guna mungkin server yang paling dekat lah dekat sini That's one New Norris, take out the full 176 hari Lagi 4 hari genap 6 bulan, setengah tahun, terbaik You do dah pasal ke Alif Alif uh, You do alliance tak main balas kan uh, Papa Muaz, you guess kenapa Singapore kat sea Instead of Dubai like last PMGC uh, So So Dubai, well something, something the, 
the pandemic happen lah kan the spread the the virus happen kan kan so maybe pun pihak berkuasa I don't know lah kan these are things but tapi that we wouldn't know tapi um, tapi maybe pihak berkuasa Dubai pun macam oh uh, korang datang buat tournament dekat kita and then tak ada quarantine tak ada apa and then spread virus so maybe du- pihak berkuasa Dubai pun macam we don't need your money sebab Dubai dah kaya dia orang kaya dengan minyak so we don't need your money you boleh buat dekat tempat lain I don't know it could be that I mean benda-benda macam ni we wouldn't know lah kan semua ni despite Abe so I'm just putting out this this few possibilities lah so jangan harap lah PMP ada dapat split MY dengan SG sebab SG dah jadi hub e- e-sports Politically, that could be real. That could be true. Politically, secara politiknya, uh, that could be true. Walaupun tim Singapore tak masuk dalam PMP for like what, tiga, dua season dah, it could be true. Yes, if you want to maintain a political relationship, uh, you could do that. Boleh, boleh. You should, you could still get, okay, let's still give slot kepada, tapi kita give lah qualifier slot. Ah, uh, tak lelak atas sana nanti orang petikai kan? Then uh, maybe ah uh, yeah, okay, so we we'll take that. Asal kan nama Singapore kat situ, so you wouldn't know. Alah, Papa was you deal with contracts before. You you know how this works lah kan? But uh, but these are the things yang macam it could happen despite tabi juga. Oh, tuan saya pun ada first world championship PUBG yang dekat PWTC success apa? True, betul. But that was before pandemic. Ah, uh, so post pandemic, uh, so far Singapore in this region ada the best portfolio post pandemic lah so sekarang ni kita kena manage pandemic and all that lah kan of course kita boleh pitch balik benda tu yang uh, PWTC semua tu first PMCO I know Azhar pun cerita pasal tu lah kan but my, M1 pun dekat Malaysia betul betul M1 dekat Malaysia kalau nak cerita banyak sebenarnya M1 dekat Malaysia um, the PMCO lepas tu uh, KL Major um, what else lah uh, I'm sure ada lagi lah kan but um, But kita cerita the the post pandemic punya portfolio, which is the biggest thing to manage right now is the pandemic punya punya SOP. I believe lah kan. I think infrastructure and all that is is yang tu okay lah kan. But the post pandemic how everything is managed, yeah, that is that is that determines. So penting juga untuk kita capai 100% adult population kita dapat tu because that can be part of a portfolio to be pitched nanti kita pun boleh cakap lah eh negara kita 100% uh, vaccinated adult population kita 100% vaccinated vaccinated so kalau korang bawa team masuk korang pun lagi selamat yeah something like that that can be a, that can be a pitch juga I mean anything can be a pitch lah at the other day they, they just tengok angle apa nak kena nak kena buat nak kena bagi dia ada rasa kebanyakan negara suka offline kat Malaysia dan Indo sebab dari segi makanan sedap-sedap uh, Dia ada Actually that's half true Kenapa mudah untuk buat dekat Malaysia dan Indonesia sebab kita adalah halal hub This is betul This is betul This is betul um, Kenapa banyak convention apa benda semua suka buat dekat Malaysia dengan Indonesia because halal hub Senang untuk Islamic country Ataupun Islamic country ke Islamic player ke Islamic guest ke whoever lah kan Untuk cari makan dekat Malaysia And this is a big factor tau This is a fairly big factor Sebab tu kita ada the halal industry dekat dunia Kan kita ada halal industry dekat dunia Wow I think I think like I cover a lot of topics in my head lah kan <laughs> Dah lama hidup Dah lama sangat hidup ni So uh, uh, Industry ha- That's why halal Itself adalah satu industri So sebenarnya that's, dia ada apa yang dia cakap tu uh, ada, ada, ada point dia juga Bukan sebab makanan sedap lah kan I mean that's one thing Kita memang ada makanan sedap Tapi the main point is that The halal hub tu Is Indonesia dengan Malaysia tu Memudahkan organizer untuk tak payah nak pening-pening uh, Cari halal food Kan It's lagi mudah Lagi accessible Sebab kalau pergi country yang macam Mungkin halal food is Rare kalau organizer nak sediakan halal food for uh, for halal punya audience mungkin cost dia lagi tinggi so yang tu pun it comes back to the cost tu juga so that is true dia memudahkan organizer oh aku tak payah nak pedih whatever aku order auto halal biasa by default lah kan kalau order dekat hotel ke catering ke apa is by default memang halal default unless requested lah kan uh, but by default is halal so so yeah dia tu ada the truth dia juga 
Jangan lupa sah. Thank you for notify dan thank you dah follow lima ratus lima puluh hari juga. Dari apa Malaysia dah dua kali kan tuan rumah. Yes, tapi my point is post pandemic punya point. Tapi menjelai LJ ah rasa Valdez lagi power dari tim Thailand yang lain. Hmm, tapi Valdez tak lepas, so uh, kita susah nak tell juga lah kan. Pilihan kali pun ada, lama tak jumpa. Nak tanya berapa banyak tim yang like ke PMGC sebab ada cakap tiga, ada cakap empat. Thank you dah for tiga ratus enam puluh empat hari juga. Empat yang like pergi PMGC, semuanya daripada Grand Final. Uh, kalau ada yang cakap tiga, minta dia orang tengok PMPR daripada starting. Sebab so, semua grafik dah tunjuk dekat situ. By the way, Anas Zahin, thank you jadi follower baru. Menjelai MJ Art, Pilihan Khalid, Muhammad Nazmi, thank you for the share juga. Ya, yeah, Tuan Syed, uh, KL Major, Dota 2, M1 dan PMCU kat Malaysia boleh lawan Singapura kalau nak jadi hub. Actually, that's a good point. Boleh lawan. So, I hope that that portfolio boleh lawan. Plus, kalau kita boleh ada. Come on lah, anti-vaccine. Come on, people. Take your vaccine, people. Sebab kita nak kembalikan e-sports offline dekat Malaysia. Kita nak kembalikan. Kan? So, so uh, plus that portfolio, that maybe we can do it. Hopefully, lah. fingers crossed. By the way, Axis pun dah buat dah uh, the first the first PUBG Mobile offline. I think it's one of the first lah kan. So, tak ada orang berani buat lagi masa tu. And buat dekat Titi Wangsa. So, good job. That way, that one is that one is the pencetus of like, hmm, yeah, actually kita boleh buat. Kita kena ikut the right SOP. And then I think after that, banyak orang cuba, cuba nak buat lah kan. So, so that is, somebody need to cetuskan juga. I think lah kan. Starting from the from the medium sized events lah kan. Cuba cetuskan. I know ada beberapa event that I was um, called untuk cast akan datang nak cuba buat tapi tak jadi untuk buat event uh, offline because I think ada juga takut takut lagi lah kan so it's okay but uh, that means the idea tu ada and that's paling penting sekali. PPM YZ next season offline kat Singapore boleh merasa pakai passport wow kan yeah my passport also like like dah lama tak chop. <laughs> But I, if that happens, I don't think so. It will still be in Malaysia lah kot. PMGC kat Poland. Jam kereng nak cari halal food. Papa muas. Yeah, that, that is an example lah kan. It, it could have been in Poland masa PMWL. But pandemic. So yeah. Di hati kapur dah follow 451 hari. Thank you. Karun Izzah, Singapore dah istia endemic. Oh okay. Uh, so that's good. So kiranya when it comes to that that part of the portfolio tu sayang-sayang. Sayang-sayang kita lah kan. So it's okay. I'm I'm sure it will return back to us. Sebab kita ada advantage of being the more cost effective, tapi tapi kita the just nice. Okay, kita, maksudnya kan daripada infra wise and all that lah. Kita in the middle tau. Macam Singapore maybe maybe dia orang ada a, a, a strong infra hub. Macam big tech company dekat situ, Facebook dekat situ, Google dekat situ and all that lah kan. Oh, kita pun ada Google, but yeah. But kita more to marketing. But yeah, that's a different story. Um, but when it comes to like the overall, mungkin Singapore ada ada advantage this game. But uh, but when it comes to like uh, the the just nice, kalau macam okay, you want something affordable, tapi not cheap. You get what I mean, lah, kan? Not cheap, but affordable. So you go, you come to Malaysia. Aku rasa kita still the 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 sweet spot in Southeast Asia, lah. Uh, economically, structure wise, semua kita the sweet spot. Kita tak extreme. Oh, high up guys. Itu kita tak terlalu low. Kita like the sweet spot in tengah. So, I think that's pretty cool. Anas, ada nama Anas yang lain ke? Ha, ha, dia baru jadi follower tadi. Betul. But this is this is a pendapat peribadi lah kan. How I see the 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 economics and what might be in the future lah kan. So, uh, so yeah. Cuba buat event Mickey Organizer tiba. Uh, ajalah Mickey. Mickey mana Mama Lee dah minta di carry. Mama Lee ada tu. Um, Mansel pun hilang ke? Tadi Mansel ada Anas. Kena cari pasport balik. Ha. Carilah pasport dulu. Make sure, make sure kena, uh, there will be a lot of passport renewal soon lah kot. Ha. But, yeah, anyway, wow, kita cerita jauh, panjang dan lebar sampai lah ke economics lah kan. So, that's quite interesting. Uh, I, I mean, it's nice to hear daripada sudut uh, pandangan like orang-orang lain juga lah kan berkenaan dengan uh, economics and what's the possible future untuk e-sports offline because one of the things that happen baru-baru ni pun kita nampak lah kan is MPL berjaya to buat offline but of course Mobile Legends is a game yang 5 lawan dengan 5 so you don't need to bring 64 orang 
you bring 10 orang paling minimum so jauh beza dia 6 kali ganda tu baru player je 6 7 kali ganda lah kan so and and they managed to do it so i think but semakin banyak mata akan terbuka lah kan um, and for me personally pun of course when i look at mps ah so nice but if only kita buat the offline event lah kan for for for, for which ever game yang kita involve lah kan that would be really nice and bila tengok balik the vibe yang dia tengok uh, for me is oh berjumpa kawan-kawan lah at the venue boleh jumpa kawan-kawan just see them like oh meeting old friends ambil gambar and all that lah kan that's the thing that to me i miss the most lah is jumpa kawan-kawan that's for me personally lah kan the jumpa kawan-kawan part so hopefully kita boleh sampai tahap tu lah kan so kita do our part semua orang duduk rumah kalau tak perlu keluar we still keep it control siapa yang belum lagi ambil vaksin daftar vaksin ambil vaksin jangan lengah-lengahkan vaksin dan uh, kita hope that kita boleh kembali seperti sedia kala uh, macam dulu lah. Apa terbaca dekat page Pauji Mobile? Mereka cari caster baru ke Anas? Uh, yes, untuk PMCC mereka ada letak iklan pencarian caster. Uh, tapi syarat dia is uh, orang yang apply tu kena ada kena adalah student university atau college. Something like that lah. Itu adalah syarat dia. Yeah, that's, that's all I know. Wah Shafiq, hopefully team Malaysia could keep their momentum till end of this tournament. Hopefully macam tu. Hopefully macam tu. Uh, boleh boleh. I I I believe that ni adalah team Malaysia punya year jugalah. But uh, okay, berkenaan dengan caster kan. So since kita ada 30,000 orang yang tengah tengok live streaming sekarang ni. So I'm going to let you all know uh, a, a, a project that I'm working on. Syarat dia macam tu ya Anas. Uh, I, that's what I I saw. Ada orang share syarat dia macam tu. Dia kena student university ataupun college. Sebab dia ikut tema PMCC kan. Um, yeah. So it's meant for university dengan college per tournament. So mungkin talent pun dia orang cari yang tu. But okay. So I'm going to share uh, this project yang aku tengah buat sekarang ni lah kan. Which is underway. Uh, so aku ada project dengan server DNA. So siapa-siapa tak tahu server DNA adalah satu event untuk community. Yang uh, dibuat. Uh, dan dibuat oleh ialah uh, adalah kan uh, tak penting tapi uh, it's a event community lah so server DNA yang ke-6 PMGC tak bukan PMGC PMGC takkan ambil bakat baru lah dia akan ambil establish punya orang tu PMCC um, so server DNA adalah event community kalau siapa-siapa pernah join server DNA punya show uh, event sebelum ni dia orang banyak giveaway and then dia orang very community based so server DNA Underwear, not underwear. Oh yeah, you you cannot have under underwear. Nanti dekat PMGC, nanti nanti stream tu akan tutup. Lepas tu orang tu akan diculik hilang. But anyway, so bulan enam nanti in December akan ada this event server DNA enam di mana ini akan jalankan secara hybrid. Uh, production stage semua adalah offline. Ini adalah plan dia. Uh, tapi audience Audience pasti lagi dalam pertimbangan. Mungkin ada small audience offline. Mungkin. Mungkin. Tidak tahu lagi. Itu itu pihak berkuasa lah. So that's not my part. But my point is that okay, akan ada server DNA punya event pada bulan 12. So the project that I'm working on in collaboration dengan server DNA adalah kita akan ada pertandingan shoutcasting. Yes. Kalau ada yang tersilap dengar. Yeah, let's not. Let's not. Nanti habis tu. So kita ada pertandingan shoutcaster pada bulan uh, akan datang lah. Uh, pendaftaran akan start tak lama lagi, and uh, and dia ada ada qualifier phase. So uh, qualifier phase and then the final phase. So final phase kita akan bawa contestant kepada uh, the offline event. Yeah. Nak tanya pakai earphone apa tu? Aku pakai apa? John Tapat. Aku pakai ni. Um, Acer punya earphone. Sebab kenapa aku pilih ni is because tali dia braided. Uh, sebab aku nak tali yang tahan, tahan lasak. So yeah, it's Acer. Kau boleh cakap Acer, aku lupa dah model dia apa. Acer 100 ke apa benda tak. Kau akan tengok earphone tu macam uh, ah, ada ke Acer keluar earphone? Ya, yeah, ada satu je earphone Acer. Kau boleh cari dekat Shopee. Ada. Oh, this macam MPR small phone. Maybe. Yang tu is it's not my part lah. Yang tu is uh, um, pihak uh, the server DNA, the organizer to to decide. So they they give me funding. They want to bagi funding 
they give me funding untuk run the the this a shopcaster tournament so nanti kita akan ada dua kategori so i'm letting you all know um uh cerita advance lah kan which is nanti pada targetnya pada 20 hari bulan akan launch all the details so kita akan ada dua kategori satu adalah kategori untuk um the pros satu lagi kategori amateur so pros kita kategorikan as orang yang pernah cast major tournament ya PMPL ke ataupun MPL ke ataupun icon series ke that is that is the that is the pros category lah kan and then kita ada amateur category yang lain-lain yang kiranya tak pernah cast uh, tak pernah cast for a pro tournament before so akan ada prize pool yes there will be a prize pool do it akan ada prize pool do it dan dan for the pros akan dibawa kepada an offline event which is server DNA lah for the amateur sebab kita pun nak kita pun ada pertimbangan yang uh, kita nak involvekan orang everywhere itu maksud dengan Sabah Sarawak and all that lah kan yang mungkin tak ada access to travel dengan mudah so dia orang punya uh, final dia punya whole process akan buat online yes for the pros kebanyakan pros is somewhere KL or accessible to KL kebanyakan lah anyway so anyway mostly pun kita kita kenal so so kita decide yang kita nak buat like that that prestige piece kita nak panggil dia orang untuk uh, datang kepada offline event nanti so there will be so kita akan ada the prelim round yang kita akan buat judging uh, yang tu dia orang kena buat submission of dia orang punya dia punya hasil dia orang and then during the final stage kita akan bagi dia orang challenge what is the challenge find out later kita akan bagi dia orang challenge and then kita akan determine the winner from the challenge so papa mas tanya ada juri atau buat macam aku ni je uh, so far the plan is so far the plan is 100% juri mungkin kita akan ada people's choice award nanti kita tengok macam mana but the base the base idea is that kita akan buat 100% juri siapa juri dia surprise yes kita dah ada juri Uh, I've already invited juries and then dia orang dah agree so kita ada juri. So siapa juri dia? Ah uh, kita akan bagi tahu kepada. So this will be the uh one of the rare event yang kita buat shoutcaster tournament uh, competition yang ada prize pool money lagi. Yes. And boleh melibatkan both pros and amateur. So it's inclusive untuk untuk semua tu. Yeah, so yeah, so the, the the details of the mechanics nanti akan ada pada doktor hari bulan. So ini juga adalah side iklan lah kepada siapa-siapa yang berminat. Sama ada korang pernah cast ke tak pernah cast ke, basically is open lah kan. Korang boleh submit juga. Korang boleh join. The price pool dia is a four digit price pool. So it's not not kecil. Is is fairly good, kan? Uh, considering a considering yang dia adalah community punya event lah kan it, it has a four digit price pool so it's like it's quite good and it's the first time kita run ni uh, so iklan juga yang ni kepada siapa-siapa yang pernah cast tak pernah cast berminat untuk cast and all that lah kan upcoming kita selalu tengok tournament for player uh, ni tournament untuk shop caster pula so akan ada um, peluang untuk aspiring ataupun sudah establish uh, caster untuk Join as the tournament. Sebelum ni tengok orang je bapa menang prize pula kan. Yeah, tournament orang and all that. Now it's the tournament for you as the caster. So yeah, so it's coming soon. Coming soon. Dan sebelum ni yang share PUBG review tu daripada live orang kan. Sebelum ni yang share PUBG review tu daripada live orang. PUBG review yang mana satu tu Anas? PUBG review daripada live orang. Live dia orang. Oh yang review gameplay tu ah uh, daripada live dia oranglah biasanya. Ah uh, yang review gameplay tu daripada live dia orang. Datuk Rahim Razali confirm atau Brom Pali Ola Bola. <laughs> well it will be people in the industry lah. I can tell you that. It will be people in the industry yang uh, I think and I've gone through this the list dengan some people and then dia kata okay. Kalau orang ni jadi juri tak ada pertikaian. Set tak ada pertikaian. So It will be orang dalam industri lah. So it will be faces yang you guys have pernah tengok sebelum ni lah. Uh, no no surprise faces. Dia tengok macam, oh dia orang ni. And 
I hope that tak ada pertikaian lah. But I like, and I ran through this with some people. And I think memang takkan ada pertikaian. Siapa yang kita dah pilih sebagai juri lah. So, yep. Wait and see. So, that will be... Yang benda tu akan launch pada 20 hari bulan. Which is pada hari apa ya? 20 tu is hari Rabu. Ah, uh, Then later you know. So, uh, of course, the main hosting page adalah server DNA. And then after that, kita akan share out all the information lah. Bila kita ada... Uh, bila kita dah ada all the material tu So yeah So kepada uh, siapa-siapa yang nak jadi caster Tak pernah jadi caster Nak jadi caster ataupun Dah power sebagai caster Boleh join Ada kategori tu So wait and see Yeah that's going to be exciting I'm super excited for this project It's unique It's new It's a new experience for me Handling this project juga So super excited And it's going to be a hybrid offline event Yeah so Going to be cool kan Uh, of course kita ada akan ada live stream juga lah nanti for untuk audience tengok lah nanti how how kita akan run the show. Anas macam nak buat live buat tu stream tapi di saat tu sum banyak and battery cepat panas. Uh, Tepulang lah boleh try try boleh test test boleh test dulu pakai omelet ke apa. Uh, boleh je test just that omelet tu kena jaga jaga dengan security je lah tu je. Okay anyway um, aku dah sampai penghujung show ni. Selain daripada cast game, Pak Haji ada ke game lain? For me ke Daniel Ayman? Aku banyak cast game lain. Uh, so, uh, so actually, banyak dia. Actually, before aku cast Pak Haji, aku cast Dota, nombor satu. Dota is my number one game sebelum PUBG. And then, after that, PUBG, Mobile Legends, uh, CSGO, Valorant, Wild Rift, Uh, Brawl Stars, S49. Oh, so uh, uh, S49, PUBG PC aku pernah cast, so that's no, 9. Uh, so aku dah cast 9 game title, as far as I remember. 9 game title yang berbeza. Yeah, so far. Mungkin aku akan cast uh, Street Fighter bulan depan, mungkin. Masih lagi tunggu. Mungkin. Mungkin Street Fighter. So, kalau cast Street Fighter, then aku akan tambah lagi satu. Then aku ada 10 game title yang aku dah cast lah. Dengan security maksudnya, security sebab dia ada dia ada orang pernah kena hack sebab pakai uh, omelette. So, just need to be careful untuk security je lah. Ya, yeah, itu je. Itu je. Sebab ada orang pernah kena hack. Jazun sebelum ni pernah kena hack sebab dia pakai omelette. So, ada some some notification yang kena off which I'm not too sure. So, just kena jaga benda-benda tu je. I think kena off-kan some notification and then it will be okay. Uh, something like that lah, lebih kurang. Ada mulia, thank you jadi follower yang baru. Okay, anyway. So, let's see. So, dah sampai hujung-hujung. So, okay. So, tonight, mal- hari ni adalah TI final. Lower bracket final dengan grand final sekarang hari ni. So I I don't know kalau aku sempat balik lepas tu aku sempat buat live uh, watch party ke tak for TI. Rasanya tak sempat according to the schedule. Tapi kalau sempat dia aku orang buat. Tapi kalau tak sempat dan tak ada lah kan. Dan apa pun uh, kita buat post show tak boleh set esok. Uh, esok mungkin dalam title macam ni juga lah lebih kurang lah dah. Nanti uh, uh, you will you will hear from me dekat dalam uh, Insta story lah kan. So Insta story. Uh, Korang boleh follow Instagram dekat sini Atau korang boleh tekan link dekat dalam uh, Dekat description Dan korang boleh follow sebab Macam biasa kita akan upkan story Untuk tanya soalan ataupun komen kepada korang-korang semua Dan kita akan featurekan esok Dekat kita punya post show tak boleh send lah Okay so I guess that's it for now uh, I also need to change and gerak pergi studio So thank you sebab sudi menonton uh, Thank you Anas Thank you Papa Muaz Thank you Mama Lin Thank you Daniel Aiman Thank you uh, John Tampan, uh, thank you kepada Muhammad Shafiq, uh, thank you kepada uh, ramai lagi yang menonton di sebalik tabir. Uh, Khairul Nizam juga, thank you tadi. Uh, Tuan Syed pun ada, thank you Muhammad Kayum ada. Dan uh, thank you Pihelang Khalid, thank you thank you semua yang menonton di sebalik tabir. So Anas jumpa lagi waktu esok dah pengumuman skrim tiba. Uh, Anas, I, tak boleh nanti kalau umumkan langsung Anas kita tidur juga pun tak guna juga tu. Uh, tapi anyway, so itu saja daripada kita pada uh, hari ini. Uh, so ya, yeah, apa-apa nanti kita roger kemudian lah. 
Orang baru kiss akan muncul dekat Oh yeah, so today is punishment day juga So, let's see So, it may not be from the start It, it may be from the middle of the show lah So, just to set the expectation dulu So, it mungkin from the middle of the show lah Nanti uh, yeah. So, talk later Okay, so TTYL Dan uh, everyone take care Dan kita jumpa lagi dalam next live stream Okay, see you guys Ta-ta